Ah, bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pascal Field, the England representer. And as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do is LB, Lotta Del Balls, a.k.a. Shut the Work to Go Artist. You know what it is? RingGameRadio.com, back in the building. We ranting, it's Thursday, free for all. No music today, but, you know, we we in the something. But we always be talking that flash, so you know what it do. Nigga back, I ain't even here Monday. But uh, we here now. Yes, sir. The lights kid, Rip Van Winkle, looking like, you know, came out of a colors edition, is back, nigga. So, uh, yeah, you know, you know that's what it is, man. Ring game. Yeah, I miss it. This is the first show I missed this year, nigga. All right, like. <laughs> Man, you don't. Need, yeah. You know. You don't have to give me that grief, bro. You know what like, it is. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Y'all definitely miss more shows than I have. Shit. Yeah, well, of course. But we say that right, in advance, yeah. though. <laughs> but y'all got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey, yo, what it do? You ain't know who this is. Your boy, King People, Dega People, Dega Box in the building. Ring Gang Radio all day. Let's go. This night, I'm not a cameo tonight. You get the full version of me. I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just saying. So. Yes, sir. In an hour. Y'all niggas will get, 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 get the full Tito Jackson mixtape tonight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, okay, like, damn. Yeah, anyone oh, back from the God. bodega tonight, P? Um, oh, yes, actually, yes. Um, anybody that is trying to uh, suggest that the Bronx gets a Trader Joe's should be banned from the bodega. We don't need no damn colonizing ass Trader Joe's over here. Oh, Get out of here with that crap. I mean, I guess I should feel bad because there's one in my town. It's just five minutes down the road. I get my turkey bacon there. Uh, nothing good comes from a Trader Joe's. That's that. That's the start of nothing good. All bad. So, no, no. I mean, the meats... No, pause. It's fine. You know, get there though. But sometimes like, when you began them fucking burritos, I be, I be, I be getting fooled sometimes. Like, oh, this is a burrito, looks nice. And I take it and I taste it. I'm like, God damn, this shit doesn't look like. This shit looks like it was definitely made by white folks, not Mexicans, like at all. Like, I be mean, taking like that. I, 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 I don't need people. Co- I, I don't need you know long lines of people trying to get you know hummus with their bagels and yeah, no, go somewhere else with that. Jeez, <laughs> now I'm sorry. I'm, now I'm, you, you, you make me feel like I'm a sell going to the fucking Trader Joe's, nigga, <laughs> to the down the road, like no, the turkey no, bacon. No. Joe. That's fine for Massachusetts, but I don't want that over here. <laughs> so we got all these. We got. I'm good with all these. Let's just keep it at all these. No Trader Joe. Yo, if there was yeah, all these deal with like, the best I, deals, I, I nigga, all these, like... man. <laughs> but yo, I got my other bit. But yo, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey, what's fly? What's fly? It's Conscious Pilot, the West Coast of Engine number one contender, preparing for liftoff. Let's fly, ring your radio. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Conscious Pilot stays elevated and above the clouds. You dig? And then salute. I see King Sung you in the comments already. Uh, salute to you. We do salute. You know what I'm saying? You know, we ranting, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were, ranting, we were just ranting about Trader Joe's and shit like that and all these and everything like that. But uh, in terms of what just came down the newswire today, especially, you know, we just got word that one undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Mr. Terrence Bud Crawford, is no longer undisputed anymore. You know, and, and fun things too is the IBF hasn't said shit. Like, it didn't, like, say, hey, you know, this was that. It just all of a sudden they released their rankings. And, you know, Boots Ennis is in the champions category and Crawford remains missing from the rankings, period. You know, and then, you know, Jake Donovan, you know, salute to Jake, you know, pretty much confirmed that, hey, you know, um, they didn't, uh, you know, they were supposed to have the talks. It didn't come through in time. And IBF was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. You know, we are stripping you of the title. And Boots Ennis is now the full IBF welterweight champion of the world. Well, and, well, well, hold up. Oh no, I mean, I'll, I'll go say what you got to say. Then no, 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 I mean, I mean, that is what it is. That's what happened, bro. Like, well, I, I was gonna say no, but the afterwards, I mean, he wasn't just come out of nowhere. Uh, the IBF sent sent them a letter, sent a, a letter to Crawford to start the negotiations, and then they uh, 
uh, somebody that was representing Crawford sent it back saying, you know, there's already an agreement for Spence and Crawford the rematch because of the rematch clause. So we're not able to make that fight. And so they stripped it. It wasn't just out of nowhere. Well, I mean, the IBF doesn't want. care. The IBF yeah, does I, yeah, care I know that. They, they don't care when they when they don't want to care because they, you know. Nah, I mean, look, dude, I don't, I don't blame these motherfuckers because the thing is, Crawford literally been going on a campaign saying how he don't want to fight Boots. So what's the point of keeping the belt, bro? Like, no, I, I, I'm with it. I, I'm with it. I, I'm not mad at them dropping the belt. I'm not mad well, at no, probably, yeah, for some reason you actually like you don't like undisputed shit. So it's like. <laughs> No, like but that's the thing. Like, if you're not going to be Devin Haney and be undisputed and defend that shit a couple times, then like, what's the point? Then like, drop it. Yeah, then drop it. Yeah. yeah. I just, I just he keep he, on campaigning, talking about he don't need to fight boots. He don't need to fight boots. And then you got some dumbass fans saying the same stupid shit. So it's like, this is this is just get to this. Just get this nigga the belt. Then fuck it, because like, it ain't gonna happen. He don't want the smoke. Well, at least Crawford does have, this, I just, you know, ha, ha, oh, go ahead, P. I was going to say, I just think this idea that some people are saying, well, oh, well, uh, it's a conspiracy against Crawford. Like, no, if you, if you recall, they did the same thing with Tyson Fury years ago when he beat Vladimir Klitschko and Klitschko uh, invoked his rematch clause and they stripped him because the IBF had a mandatory and he had the rematch clause. So they said, nope. They're stripping you. They do that with everybody. Yeah, and so. that's why, and that's why Charles Martin became IBF heavyweight champion of the world, and and they did the same shit with Canelo too. You know, like you know, they told Canelo it's like, yo, you gotta you gotta defend against Derevianchenko, and you know, Canelo was uh, or whoever at Golden Boy at the time was sitting on their hands, pause, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, you know, the motherfucker, hey, you got stripped. And, uh, you know, Canelo was not happy about that shit. And, you know, that probably, that probably was like the beginning of the end with him and Oscar. And, of course, we got Triple G and Durianchenko, which turned out to be an awesome fight anyways. You know, so, you know, so it, either way, that ended well, you know. But, yeah, the IBF, you know, they be, yeah, like I said, they don't fuck around with, with stripping people because they're the only U.S.-based uh, sanctioning body. And they, only, and they got sued stupid in the 90s. You know, you know, for a lot, of, for a lot of different shit, and they nearly got uh, taken away. So yeah, they, 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 you know, their rules are by the book. So they can't. There's no fuckery. They can't do any fuckery without, you know, being reminded of that shit. I mean, I'd be sometimes. You know, I remember when they used to be super strict, but now they're just selectively strict. Because I mean, you know, when the last time Spence had was it? Oh, Campo, Campo was the last mandatory for IBF and Curtillo. Who took a step aside? You know. What I mean? Well, they did that because Spence. Well, they have the interim shit because Spence, you know, decided to go on a little joyride after yeah. night out. So yeah. Yeah, it's like well, people keep forgetting that part. Like God Canelo. Damn, I mean, but well, that's Spence's fault. I mean, I'm but and, and Canelo well, also. Well, also, it's also not. It's also not Spence's fault that Kudratio lost to Cody Crowley, therefore Cody Crowley losing his true. Mando spot and back to square one. So well, I'm just saying, if he doesn't lose to Cody selected. Crowley, he becomes a Mando. Because when last time Canelo got an IBF mandatory, um, you know, when was last? I don't know. I'm just saying. They, they, they're they selective. And I, I get it. I'm not mad at it again. I'm not mad at it. I want Ennis to finally get his reign. I'm glad he got his reign because he's a big boy for welterweight. So I'm not completely mad at it. But, I mean, I'm pr- – well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what Canelo's – like, Canelo's – well, yeah, I mean, yeah, they they protect that motherfucker, so I'm not even sure of what man. Yeah, I don't think the plot armor extends outside of the ring. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, uh, honestly, I don't know what Mando Canelo has actually been ordered to face. Yeah, it's probably been a while since that motherfucker's even been forced to fight a uh, fight a Mando. Well, well, unless you count the whole Yildrum thing, and you know, I you know, that we was don't count. Well, we don't count. Nobody counts the Yildrum. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, yeah. we, we we do because you know when you make money off the fights, you count them. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So it's just like so. I mean, and I and earn earn earn. You know nothing, conscious pilot. Damn, someone already came came with smoke for pilot already. You so know, he put the whole name up there. He put the first name. He put conscious and pilot. Like I, I'm saying, like he, like like he, a, like, like he a like like he a bad kid. Like conscious pilot. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. 
Hey, hey, what did what did do, John? I don't, what did what did do? Ring gang in the building. Salute to the crew. Uh, LB, like, what did do? You know, a lot of Dell nigga was good. I do feel like Buzz gonna drop all these belts one by one anyway. You know, I think he's gonna fight at 154. So I don't. Yeah, know. I mean, <laughs> fight enough though, man. These niggas literally held up the the division, waiting to fight once a year. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I mean, if you, I mean, like I said, both guys before the, you know, you know, obviously they looked like they were drawn. You know, you could see every fucking bone in their face and shit like that. You know, it's clear. And like I said, Crawford's been at one forty-seven for a minute. Spence, yeah, it's basically it's about time because there's only so many times you can go to the well. And you know, although Crawford has been professional about it, they've all been professional. It's like so many, so many times you can go in the well and it doesn't affect your. It doesn't before it starts affecting your performance. So. But he would have fought at one forty seven rematch if, if if Spence would have took it though. Yeah. No, but like I said if they're gonna if they're gonna do this rematch and it's clearly one fifty four, give up the belts because like I said, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, granted, it's not gonna stop anything. Like, I mean, Spence is still gonna get his ass whooped at one fifty four. <laughs> yeah. You know, regardless, like I mean, there's no if ands or buts about that. Like, you know, Spence is too taxed. To, it doesn't matter if he has seven pounds out of his frame. Like, you know, uh, some of these niggas, he don't even look like he's like. I rewatched really that fight last like, night. Like, like, focused on fighting right now. I think he just kind of living the life and chilling. So yeah, yeah this nigga got painted. Like, you see this nigga. Like, you know, I mean, he's not. I mean, granted, he's not. Oh, he's not out of shape, but you can tell that. You know, yeah. you can tell. The nigga's going overboard with the out of shape. Like, Spence well, I mean, ain't out I mean, of shape. Mean, you see in the gym. You, you see Crawford in the gym all the time. And Spence is out. You know, we see Spence cameo every once in a while with his chick in Paris or some shit. You know what I'm saying, like, out and about. Because Spence got a life, man. This nigga Crawford is enjoy it. He made a lot of money. Enjoy it, but I'm just saying, exactly. there's levels. There's levels. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, Spence got the shit being out of him. Love, <laughs> love, 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 earn a little. Let me enjoy his little bread. You know yeah, what well, I mean? Well, but then, cool. too, people look at it like, damn. You know, Spence need to be in the gym more because there's a lot more shit he can improve on with his skills. So, well, this is what it is. I mean, Spence. You know, he had a great career, but. I mean, I mean, career ain't it, over it, yet, nigga. And, I mean, uh, from July 29th, it might be. <laughs> Oh, I, I mean, I, was, I, I mean, he's, I mean, maybe Spence could even go in here because you know, like when you get ass whooping like that, the commissions are gonna give you a ninety or a one twenty day like suspension, like you know. So it, yeah. it could be that he can't even spar. You can't when you do, you can't even really spar because you're not supposed to. But like, damn, you don't. You could train without sparring though. It's like so much other shit he could be learning. <laughs> hey, nigga, I'm, I'm not even disagreeing with you, bro. I am not disagreeing with you, but. You, you know how it goes with some of these cats, yo. It's just yeah, like, you know, yeah. this nigga, like, he's, Spencer's on his farm right now with his animals. It's and, like, you know, he's it. eating good, bro. Like, either, you know, it, 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 it is like, damn, like, y'all niggas got access to all these resources and shit. Like, I, but I mean, I literally really, train every day. Like, realistically, Crawford, you know, he dropped these belts, WBA. So, Stan Yonis Thurman is actually for the WBA title. You know, Burials. When they make it official, the, fuck. Burials gets the, his the WBC shot against whoever. They want him to fight, you know what I'm saying? And WBO, Centillion fights whoever, TFEMO or somebody else, Josh Taylor or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Just, just map it out like that, because that's what's going to happen. Yeah, and, and that'll be the new welterweight era, like, you know, because like I said, the, this, the whole PBC welterweight era came to an end when Crawford beat up Spence. Like, there's no, like, there's, like, there's no continuation. Now it's just like, who's going to, who's going to, this is the new era. It's either going to, either be like the remnants of it like a thurman gets ushered out and the new ones get put in like the boots and everything like that or we don't know just yet but yeah the the era that we all know in for what's way is is it's to me it's done like you know but it, that ain't a bad thing that era sucked and it took too long <laughs> this you gotta right have for the good fights man that's it's gonna be an NS era until all the, the little niggas move up i feel like to be, be honest, Thurman gave you half the good fights in that era. You yeah, want to be honest. Thurman's like, like, last one left, in a sense, even though he ain't really fighting much. Nigga, gave, nigga gave you the classic Porter fight, classic Pacquiao fight. Danny was Danny was a good fight, too. But Fucking, fight. nah, nah. The Danny fight was good for the first six rounds. Like, <laughs> the whole fight have to be... In order for a fight to classify as good, you have to get, a, get, a, get at least good eight or nine solid rounds. And there was only like six or seven at the most. Yeah, so I can't I can't put that with it. Oh. Soto Karate. Like, shit, man. Who the fuck else gave all these niggas these good fights in that era, man? Come on. And he didn't even fight as much. That's the crazy part. Yeah. Oh, and also salute. Uh, I'm just looking at Henny God. Salute, salute the channel in the chat. And it's, it's just Amazing CA. Killer. 
And it's a C A S. Happy C Day. Happy uh, C Day, Nuku. Happy G Day. <laughs> Happy B J C. What? What? B Day. My fault. Fault. B Day. B Day. I'm like, okay. yeah. This nigga. How you know what he's doing later, bro? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? How you know how you celebrating, fam? Like, damn. Yeah, that's a nigga C day, bro. bro. Like you gotta understand, ain't, ain't, ain't no bees up in there, bro. Like <laughs> that's that nigga C day, you know. Salute any god, you know. <laughs> Scorpio and also gang, salute blazing you killer. You know, absolutely, man. So I mean, all, with, with regards to Crawford, I'm just wondering now with the boots thing, is boots gonna get the whole email champ thing like Devin Haney got, you know? When Lomachenko and Top Rank and the WBC was giving him the runaround for for all that time, or they're gonna blame, or they gonna, or people are gonna blame Crawford, and because I mean that was sickening where people Lomachenko was like pretty much scot free, but Haney was getting all this fucking hate and shit like that for no fucking reason other than I think they gonna blame Crawford because it's like <laughs> he's been more vocal about not fighting the man, like. <laughs> I mean the email champ stuff too. You know that's that's kind of the the quote unquote narrative is the email champ stuff. Um, you know like Janet Beck, Tim Zhu, Haney, now Ennis. You know they got. The hey yo, Tim Zhu gets no static for that. Like at none. All. Zero. It's kind of good. Yeah. I mean because you know he fought good fighters for it. Fought former champions. But the thing is too, Tim Zhu like low key went through the division. Like he kind of. I mean, I mean, not every email champ ain't the same, man. Some email champs get it, and it's like they get it at a time where they never really beat a real top 10 contender. So it kind of feels like, wow, you just really got the sanctioning body boost type shit. Like, you didn't really, you know. Earn it. You didn't earn it. Earn it, earn it. Like, it's not like you went through the division and niggas handed you the belt on some, like, yeah. Good luck, good job for getting through the gauntlet. Like, <laughs> Tim Zoo, about the only one I could say really kind of he oh, fought right. some contenders. Like, yeah. he, he went all the way from like top 15 to damn being number two in the division, number one. Like, he had the, he fought legit contenders each time. Like, like Harrison, true. in a way, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Campo, not Campo. Um, the nigga well, like um, Campo. Mendoza. Mendoza. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he's really champ. He's really champ by Mendoza, but still, yeah, that's still, yeah. Yeah. So it's, I feel it. Um, since we're on the topic of boxing, let me get my little. Um, well, first, Rome's Rome. Let, let, let Rome introduce himself. Oh yeah, this nigga jumped on. He ain't say shit. Yeah, no. What they do? Salute. Nigga, your voice is low, bro. Where, yeah, it's where real, real low. We can't hear you. Yeah, no, this nigga, nigga hasn't been on a cast regular for so long that he he, he forgot his microphone settings. <laughs> oh, shit, hold on, wait. Hey, what am I gonna do? <laughs> but no, what was you guys saying until, until this nigga comes back? Uh, since I wasn't here the other night, uh, let me get my little. Uh, what's that shit? The Shakur Navarate mm -hmm. takes. Um, I mean, Shakur seems gonna beat this dude ass. Um, tenth yeah. round KO. Um, and Navarate and uh, but with uh Santos, I feel like he's gonna be scrappy with dude for like the first maybe three four rounds. Cause he has some decent athleticism, but I don't know how hard he trained for this fight. So it's like eh, I don't know. But um, all he said is about Shakur Stevenson. If you're gonna fight him, you need to train in like weighted armor, ankle weights, all that shit, and just practice them cut cutting off the ring drills and getting first steps. Like mm -hmm. you do that. You'll be able to give Shakur Stevenson a damn great fight because closing the distance on him, like getting that done is half the battle. Like on some old school G.I. Joe shit mm -hmm. at the end of the episode type shit. Like, yeah, if you close the distance on Shakur Stevenson, that's half the battle. So right. as I'm always like footwork is a lot of people look at defensive footwork, but 
offensive footwork is just as important. So I hope he did something like that. I saw um the IG post with Michaelia Mayer, who seemed like she'd been training her ass off with a uh, uh, Hasim Rockman senior. And um I seen her with like the ankle weights, everything, all that shit. I'm like, damn, who who the fuck's he fighting when you gotta be that fast? Like <laughs> It felt like it was Goku, or no, it felt like it was Piccolo with all the shit. Hey on. man, you got if you if she's adding wrinkles to her game, bro. Like you know, if it's something. That's part of her. Like she need to do it because I don't think she looked that great in the last fight. But I don't mm-hmm. think it was. I don't think it was the speed. But hey, uh, <laughs> if you're gonna get faster, hey, hey, I I can't hate on that. Like fast, being faster doesn't hurt. So hopefully we see a good fight. Um, Navarate, who's Navarate fighting again? Robson Casesa. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, this could be decent. Um, damn. Um, I think Navarate by decision. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> cause nah, dude, Kaboxa could have. Dude, Kaboxa. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, cause uh, Navarate is a little. But I don't know to the extent where Navarate will just take over and just beat the shit out of him late. I mean, that's and what he, he does, bro. <laughs> that's mean, what he does. I mean, it's not like he stopped Valdez. Yeah, but he beat the living shit out of him. <laughs> hey, I mean, that's what he's going to do with this one. Like, I, you know, he could win a decision and beat the shit out of somebody. <laughs> hey, and true, Nav- Navarate is getting out, getting him out of there by the six. Like, that's what I said. Six around. Damn, y'all going y'all think he's be- Robson? I, I think Robson's best days yes. was left in that Valdez quote unquote robbery. So I don't, I don't, he ain't, I don't know. Yeah, that shit really was no robbery though. That was like, that's like Claudi Cotto. Like that's you, you beat unquote. somebody until you kind of chill a little. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just, damn, I'm just taking a look at the chat again. Uh, what's good, Rob D? What's good, uh, Ring Gang? And happy 30 Wu Tribe Day in Doggy Style in a few weeks. And happy boy. Happy Born Day, one of the goats, Brad Jordan, aka. Oh Scott. yeah, yeah, it was a crazy thing. Ah, damn, yeah. Like, when, when someone mentioned it's been, uh, damn, it's been thirty fucking years since. Enter the woo, thirty. Th- enter the woo, thirty years today. That's crazy. Yeah, and Midnight Marauders for for the tribe. I'm like Jesus Christ. Like, like I said, I still remember when I first heard the woo because you know niggas. I would say niggas. You know, I you know obviously a fan of martial art movies. So when I actually saw one of their shits and you know and they're doing all types of shit, I was like, wait a minute, I know where that shit came from. <laughs> you know, That's crazy. yeah, gotta, you know, get fucking, loop, gotta get this loop. Yeah, like you know, obviously, you know, enter enter the Wu Tang Thirty Six Chambers is like you know, obviously, it's like the Wu classic. I mean, I mean, that shit had like damn near every song had a fucking video on that shit. Like, you know, that shit was. Mad influential because, like, number one, because I think that's, that's one of the albums that entered, you know, that ushered in like the really grimy era of of hip hop, especially on the East Coast. You know, you know, the, like, you know, a lot of the pro black rap or even rap like Tribe, although Tribe still flourished after I'm, that. I'm dog. I'll let you try my Wu Tang style. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, nigga, I, I love that whole fucking album. I, I love. Um, you know, do you have a favorite course, record on that? Do you have a favorite record on that, any uh, uh, For me, it's the mystery of chess boxing. Uh, I m- love mine's that. Gonna, mine's gonna be so simple. And yeah. of course, like, cr- and of course, cream is like the ultimate classic. Oh, cream, cream, man. Cream's like you know, protecting yeah, neck. Like, yeah, yeah, protecting, protecting neck. Protecting neck. Protecting man. Yeah, and, and yeah, it, it seemed like every it seemed like every song that they did on there was kind of was hitting like the Method Man shit, you know. Although Method Man, I mean, I mean, it was more. I mean, I mean, honestly, it's not Method Man, you know, when he kind of advanced a little bit, but still was catchy as fuck though. <laughs> and, 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 and rest in peace, rest in paradise, to old, um, old dirty bastard and Fife Dog for sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh yeah, because both 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 albums got someone that's gone, so yeah. Yeah, I know. We just talked about Fife Dog, I think, last week. Yeah, yeah, because I know um, fucking Anthony Manzano brought up Tribe and Midnight Marauders, you know, it, you know, and like I said. Yo, yo, real quick, can you hear me now, nigga? Yeah, oh, now we can. Okay, introduce yourself, bro. Nigga, what's good? Nigga, it's me. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, yeah, after some time, I was like, God damn, you've been here. Hey, what up, nigga? It's you. You're here. Like, what, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you haven't been on so long. You're, nah, because I was it's fucked up. Because I was I was talking this whole time. I was like, damn, 
piling on his Dwight Howard shit, asking nigga he want a BJ for his B day, all that <laughs> shit. Nah, nigga, like, C day, C day, bro. Don't don't insult the man, C day. Oh man. my bad, nigga. I ain't I ain't fucking cripping, nigga. I can say B day if I want to. God damn it. Dude, dude is chilling, sitting on his bouch. He got to yeah. with disrespect. No, happy birthday, nigga. That's how you actually say the word, nigga. God damn. <laughs> this, this, yo, this nigga Roman's an incorrigible ass nigga, yo. <laughs> He's like, see, they what? But what's good, yo? Yo, fuck them Philly, fuck them Philly niggas. Nigga, yeah. fuck the Bears, nigga. What the fuck am I watching, my nigga? This bullshit ass, like these nigga, we got a nigga. rookie quarter. We got a white boy rookie who thinks. Oh, so where the fuck is Deontay ball. Jones at? Yeah, I mean he he got he got a little smoke last one because I, I told him like oh, 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 oh I wasn't here okay yeah you he wasn't here up. yeah I, I t- yeah I, I gave him a little piece of my mind about that and, and these fucking bears but well, uh, fucking bears are trash like look at this yo they're struggling with the fucking ones I mean they they have the lead but fucking sixteen ten in the fourth quarter like you know this is some horse shit like nigga your bears are horse shit bro like nigga why are you even talking about your fucking bears bro like these niggas is garbage yeah, yo. because look hey if i if i came back from last place in fantasy and fantasy football nigga my bears can come back nigga nigga detroit run you niggas now what the fuck is you talking about nigga You're like nigga, what are you talking about we got one of the best divisions in football so stop nigga detroit is your division bro detroit minnesota green bro? bay Legends. Nah, Green Bay stinks, bruh. What the fuck is you talking about? Trash this year. They better yeah. than New York. Yeah, nigga. Like, they better than the Patriots. Yeah, why it got quiet when he said, like, say something better. Because they know I'm fucking right. Cause, cause the I fucking... said, no, they're not. They're not. <laughs> nah, that no come out like So which one? Like, so which one? Oh, so which okay, one, you, want me, you, you want me to really pull it up right now? Because the. Uh, Nigga, I want your stats. I don't want ESPN high. stats, nigga. I want your stats. No, I said uh, the record is the record. The Green Bay is three and three. The Jets are four and four. So, yeah, actually, I'll Packers Giants. Are three and five. Three and five. Three and five. Three and five. I was three and five. Like, nah, nah, nigga, we we in week nine, right. bro. Like <laughs> three three and five. Okay, hey, y'all niggas is wrong on them goddamn football upsets. I mean, I didn't. I didn't those, those, those games, but if you, but if you watch them games, them games were like amazing games to watch. Like it was Dude, impossible. Watch fucking games, nigga. nigga CJ, Dude, you Stroud. watch a football, basketball, boxing like I, I, nigga, I didn't even Stroud. watch a boxing like that. Can you imagine going to your job for the first time, for the first year, and then you putting up record numbers and niggas is looking at you like you got, nigga? That's what CJ Stroud is doing. Yeah, Curry. but you know, look. When's the last time Houston, Texas had a quarterback? Deshaun Watson before he was starting. Stroud's rolling like crazy. Stroud, Stroud, I, I, I yeah, told that, Stroud's in better than Bryce Young. The quarterback put up an amazing. But fuck all that, though, nigga. It's Eagles and Cowboys, nigga. Eagles is the NFL best record, nigga. I'm going to need you to put some respect. I realize that Jalen Hurts runs all you niggas in there, especially fucking Chicago, nigga. Yeah, Don't I think I forgot. Hard season. Season. Hard hard season. Season. The second half of the season is hard for y'all. I would shut the fuck up if I was you, nigga. Nigga, we ain't what, nigga? We already in the fucking playoffs, nigga. All we need to do is probably like win like two games, nigga. We in. Nigga, if you, you lose the rest about? of the game, if you lose every game here on out, you won't make the playoffs. So stop, nigga. If we if, if we beat the you didn't clinch nothing. Nigga, you if ain't we clinch nothing. Again, we wrap up the NFC East. Like, nigga, I see y'all niggas clinch. I don't want to hear it. Nigga, all we have to do is beat the Cowboys again and we wrap up the NFC East and we have a playoff spot, nigga. I don't okay, know what the fuck. Hold on, so y'all, y'all got to... Y'all go against the Cowboys again? Yeah, we do. Yeah, in the divisions, I go, we go Cowboys, Giants... They play each other twice a year. And the Skins are uh, twice a year. Hold on, I thought they already played them niggas once. Like, yeah, yeah, we played one more time. Yeah, it's going to be... I thought they played each other twice. Like, my bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, once in Philly and then one in, in that in that shithole, in Shell City in Texas. You know... <laughs> God damn. Nigga, I'd rather watch a game at Jerry Stadium and fucking whatever Philly play at, nigga. Fuck the nigga, what, nigga, what? You, you wish your quarterback could do a fucking quarterback. Like, nigga gets injured just walking, bro. Not even onto the field. He, he gets injured. Nigga, nigga dislocated his, his fingers. Up, that has nothing to do with his leg. Shut the fuck up. Nigga, he gets injured. Nigga, he's walking and he fucking and he gets a concussion, nigga. And he didn't even hit the ground, nigga. Like, okay, the quarterback you, is weak, if you bro. Scramble, if you're a quarterback and you scrambling, if you rush him more times than your running back, what you expect, nigga? I don't give a fuck, nigga. Like, 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 
<laughs> nigga, this is the problem. He's, he's, he's supposed to improvise, nigga. Why he, you know, he, you know, this nigga don't know how to. Well, you, you know. can't improvise when you're lying and shit, nigga. You just so, run for your life. That's all you do. When the so, ball is snap, you run for your life. So? Nigga, if you was quarterback for the Bears, I guarantee you wouldn't have three completions, nigga. Man. Our nigga, line is, nigga, our nigga, line he, is he, shit. He can't even have three completions. What the fuck is you talking about? Our, our line is shit. Our line is shit, nigga. No, I would run the ball all, every down, nigga. I'm not getting hit by them niggas. The nah, fuck? Nigga, yeah, you, in the end, look, your team is trash, though, and Jalen Hurts is the MVP candidate. He might actually be the MVP nigga, right now. Stop. Stop. He's a he's a game manager. I don't want to hear no that. fucking shit. game manager, nigga. The fuck you <laughs> Nigga, this nigga was winning, was being the cowboy with his arm, nigga. He's a bum, nigga. What the fuck he's talking about gay man, nigga? That nigga is a gay man. Ain't no fucking gay man. Like, you're a GameStop employee. Up, like, yo, I need you to watch these games over that here. Nigga is, like, that nigga is team T Tim Tebow. You just place him in the right, you know, No, position. nigga, your quarterback, your quarterback is going to be a, should be a converted fucking tight end, nigga. The fuck is out of here, you know? Get out of here with that shit, yo. This nigga, this nigga can't no. This nigga can't read nothing. Like he can't do nothing on that field, yo. He's he's useless, bro. I mean, or it's your, or your Chicago, or, or your Chicago court. That's why you niggas have lost since Lovey got fired. And that's yeah, hurt, nigga, nigga. I agree. Losing Lovey was the worst thing to happen to us, nigga. Yeah, you only had one winning season, and my team knocked you out of the playoffs yeah, man, after you, you said, let us, yeah. after you let us in. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Yeah, you know, your, your Bears are just a nothing, just incompetence. Nigga, we trying to get a nice little draft pick. I don't know about you. Yeah, no, you ain't getting no Panthers. Panthers is getting the pan the draft pick. What the fuck is you talking about? Nigga, you niggas, you niggas ain't tanking enough. You can't even do that shit right. No, no, the, no, the, the Bears damn. have their draft. The Bears Lot have the Panthers. Lottery, draft. lottery. <laughs> lottery. <laughs> nigga, we finna get a nice, we might get Marvin Harrison Jr., nigga. Oh, you, Harvard Marison, yes, you know, yeah, Harvard Marison, oh, Jr., absolutely. Oh, speaking of him, somebody was telling me they had watched the documentary on Marvin Harrison. I didn't know this nigga was on his Aaron Hernandez shit. Did you know yeah, that? that nigga's, yeah, that nigga's a, that nigga's a straight-up gangster, but, you know, that motherfucker is, like, he's, like, he's fucking legit. That's why you see niggas like Meek Mills, like, during that nigga's presence. That motherfucker behaves himself like that. What? Marvin Harrison has, Marvin Harrison is, like, he's, like, he's, like, a real... Thug, like he's. I had yeah, no he, idea. I nobody, know nobody knew that except he was, was one of them quiet receivers where he was the inside down, on the just the sideline real quick. Be like, yeah, I scored. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Y'all yeah, remember? Y'all yeah, remember the inside joke on the college where you can't say his name where you called him Harvin Marison? Harvin Marison. Yeah, because I mean, because the nigga, like, I mean, there's there's whole bunch of shit. Like, I, like, I'm pretty sure this nigga's probably been behind murders, beat down. Yeah, y'all, y'all be, y'all be treating, y'all be treating Marvin Harrison like he's Chris Benoit. You can't say his name. No <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, the nigga is crazy, bro. Like, it's not like it's like a secret. I mean, he was a hell of a receiver, though. Like that nigga, that nigga was dope. Like in his Listen, prime, though. But what they, nigga, what I what I figured out from what he was telling me, I'm like, yo, this nigga was a menace, but he was so raw, and he was Peyton Manning's only option. Besides, I think he had Reggie Wayne or something. Yeah, yeah, Reggie Wayne. Yeah. But I feel like they was like, yo, we need this cracker to win a Super Bowl, so fuck. <laughs> Fuck everything that he's doing on off the field. Like we'll just get him a Super Bowl and then he can retire quietly, like type shit. Yeah, Cause yeah. Because he was too raw to just lead a league and nobody even know what the fuck happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, dude. I mean, I don't know how. Like I mean, honestly, I don't know how the NFL just didn't boot him out. But you know, like I said, you know, some things are just better left unexplained. But remember that Super Bowl? I was probably what seven years old, so I don't even remember why the fuck that nigga was wrong. I just know he was good. Yeah, he was. He, 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 he dude. I mean, dude, might. I mean, is he in the Hall of Fame? He should be. He won and Rob, he's he like he yards is. in the game. He is in the Hall of Fame. Oh yeah, word, word. And Rob D, yes, no fucking way on Hurts being Tebow. Yeah, you see, Rome's just be that's it. He, that's a, that's just the butler comment. He he knows Hurts is the real deal. You know, you know this nigga. You know, he he knows like, but you know, like I said, he has to save face because he was talking that shit to me, and you know, and so far it has failed. You know, because you know, I tell him all the time the Eagles are number one. Bears. I say all types, of, all types of shit though. This nigga don't respond though because he yeah, knows. Y'all yeah, gonna have to win the Super Bowl this year because if you don't, oh, they, listen, they thought he thought the same thing last year. Pat thing last year, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I talk a lot of shit too, and it wasn't the, it wasn't for lack of Eagles trying. It was the fucking refs that did that. The refs gave them niggas a game winning penalty. 
You understand what I'm talking about, n- niggas? Yeah, just, just like Fury had a long count against Wilder. Yeah, sure, nigga. Nah, nigga, it ain't no fucking hole. Yeah. Nigga, the rest of the yeah. Oh, wait Fury, a minute. Fury, Fury was out for like 13 minutes, my nigga. Of course, of course, you would take up for your light-skinned brethren. Of course, you know. It's, it's, it's not, wait a minute. Oh. They're like, wait a minute. Mahomes has a lily white chick. Man, we can't have him losing in front of this lily white girl. So yeah, like you know, we, we got caught on this, on this nigga Bradbury. If, look, if they play Philly again with Taylor Swift as that game, they definitely not losing, nigga. You're fucked, nigga. <laughs> nah, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah like you, you got to be humble. You got to be more humble during that damn regular season, nigga. Yeah. Nah, fuck I mean, that. You, nigga. We don't, remember don't all this, the, nigga. Don't let the 1989 squad pull up to that motherfucking Super Bowl, nigga. Y'all niggas not gonna score a touchdown. What 1989 squad of who, nigga? Of ta- of the Swifties, nigga. The fuck you mean? <laughs> this nigga's stupid, yo. Damn, this nigga just putting the target on his back. The next year come, it's gonna be like yeah. No, of course, nigga. I'm an Eagles fan. That's what we do, nigga. Though I, I, you know what I mean, like I said, you, I mean, P doesn't pop off to me like this. Pilot doesn't. It's just this nigga wrong. Because this nigga's wrong. Nigga, you just pop off to everybody, and it's like you know, niggas just Pilot decide to respond or not. Oh, I can't say nothing because the Rams jumped off the fucking side of the boat, nigga. Hey, we, we, we got our ring. <laughs> we, we got our ring. We're, we're good. We're yeah, good. You can't talk about my like the Bears are better than the Rams. I'll tell you that. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, pilot. Do you want to answer that question? What's the record for both teams? The 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 the, 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 the Rams, Rams actually have two Super Bowls. The Nigga, we talking about we talking about the twenty twenty four season. I'm not talking about, like, no, no, I mean, I'm not talking about no past accolades, nigga. We got a Super Bowl stuff. <laughs> Fuck you mean? And the Rams and the the Rams have three wins, and the Bear and the Bears have, have two. two. The Bears have two. So nigga, we about to win right now. What the fuck is you talking about? Yo, my Mike Mike is nine <laughs> minutes left in this game. Y'all only up by three. Nine minutes. Yeah, you're not gonna win right now. Playing the worst team in the league. It's two rookie quarterbacks battling it out. Nigga, come on. <laughs> and, and then also too, just off random what we talk about, man. Yo, know, y'all niggas in the NFL, your teams and the fan bases, you know, niggas is talking shit about the the Eagles quarterback league. Personally, I'm not a fan of touch push or brotherly shove, but fuck it. It's a legal fucking play. If you can't stop it, you know, Listen, fuck it. You know, at first I used to think the quarterback sneak was the most dangerous play. Now they make this shit look easy. This nigga just lay down for first downs. This shit's crazy. No, it's not late. Nigga, Jalen Hurts squats six hundred pounds and he has big ass nigga, and he has the no. best line in the if you, league. If you see how the if you see how the play is done, it's a shell. And it's like every play it's like a domino. The players fall over and create a bed for this nigga. He just lays down on it and gets the first down. Nigga, you know, yeah. what, 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 didn't the, what, didn't the Falcons try that shit or something like that? And, and one of them niggas got a concussion or some shit yeah, like that? Niggas some, got the same some niggas playbook. got injured doing that shit? Some, some, I know there was some team that- Because tried. they're trying to do it. They're trying to do it by watching film. They're not getting actually taught the actual play, nigga. They're trying to watch film and see what every yeah, player is doing. Yeah, because when the Eagles do it, it's either an auto, it's it's an automatic first down or you know or a four touchdown. Yard. They niggas get four yards, yards on a QB sneak, nigga. Was that? That's just that's just a cheap move, move, yo. They got to take that out. No, no, why? Because we do it like four times a game. <laughs> no, it's an illegal lineup. I don't, I don't like it's that. It's not a legal lineup. It look like the niggas are about to take it. The rest would call it. Look it, like it, a, it's it looks like they're about to take a knee. It's, it looks like they're about to take a knee and then they do some cheating that shit and get five yards off a of sneak, nigga. If you get five yards from quarterback sneak, yeah, you got to get rid of that play. Nigga, we've only got like two or three yards tops, nigga. And then nigga. And the thing is too is like the opposing team can't touch the quarterback, else it's a flag. <laughs> That's funny. Look, That's yo, funny yo, shut a word. Yo, shut a word. This is how you know it's a cheap move, right? It's it's a cheap move because let's say the, you get four downs to get a first down, right? Mm-hmm. These niggas are do run two regular running plays, mm-hmm. get seven yards, mm-hmm. run the QB sneak, mm-hmm. get closer, and then run it right back first down. And be like, all right, what do we got now? Yeah. Nigga, if you just QB sneaking for first downs the whole drive, that shit is illegal. <laughs> it's not legal, though, nigga. It's, it's not. That's no, the no, so let me, Why don't y'all let me line you. up? Why don't you line up a shotgun and show me what your quarterback can really do instead of fucking running? Nigga, he has yards, a bruised nigga. knee, bro. Dang, we, I don't think we, we, we doing it. What's nigga? the counter to it though? Like it can't be some invincible player. The counter shit. is one of them big big ass niggas is gonna get that nigga concussion. He keep doing that shit. <laughs> is he? Uh, we only had. Then everything it needs to happen already. Then 
So maybe I'm, niggas I mean, just stop. They started this new move last year. Niggas are still figuring it out. One day oh, okay. somebody's gonna jump over the line. Somebody's gonna crawl underneath the line. Something's gonna happen where somebody's gonna disturb that shit. I mean, is it didn't like Michael uh, Michael Parsons? Didn't he? He tried it too, and he got carried. <laughs> he got carried out of the end zone. Yeah, no, I, Mike. I, listen, I don't know what the fuck Michael Parsons was doing. He was just trying to have fun at that. Point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that nigga just jumped on the pile and just laid there. I'm like, yo, nigga, get the fuck up, nigga. You didn't even do nothing. You don't yeah, want a waste of a player. Yeah, like, he, like, he didn't even bother flipping out of it. That He let, he let them big-ass linemen carry his ass. <laughs> like, look, like, three, four, look, three if yards. I'm a co- if I'm a coach of one of these NFL teams, before we play Philly, we not... We go into the film room and we watching this brotherly shove and seeing where's the holes, where can we get in. Because... Right. Pause, but brotherly shove. What the? F- that's what it's called. That's, that's the name of it. They nicknamed this cheating ass move. <laughs> yeah, you know, they, you know, Philly's the city of brotherly Because look, brotherly look, look yeah. not only yeah, is the quarterback just sneaking for not only is the quarterback just sneaking for two yards, he has his fullback and running back pushing them behind him. But they used to call it the but they used to call it the tush push. So I'm following brotherly shove. So he snaps push. the ball, yeah. runs yeah. runs oh. behind six fat three hundred pound niggas. And then his two big ass running backs just come behind him and push him. I mean, <laughs> hey, <laughs> yo, that that sounds like some bullshit. Like, I ain't it's, gonna it's lie, a cheating, it's a cheating ass play. I mean, hey, bro, like, it, it, if it was cheating, every team could do it because every team's not built to do that type of move, bro. You know, like I said, because like I said, if you do it, so y'all wrong, calling this nigga? It's like it's the weight bully of football. <laughs> like, nigga, they do if they can pull the it off, they can pull it off. Listen, but, they do it on the goal line. If it's first, and, if it's first and eight on the goal, them niggas will do that shit four times in a row. Fuck right, fucking right, yeah. nigga. Yeah, yeah. That's just trash. I mean, I mean, I mean, that's just trash. That just shows y'all playbook ain't shit. That Philly playbook ain't shit. Y'all ain't got no real got running. Game, best Y'all got, ain't got no real running backs, and your wide receivers are arguing over targets. Nigga, nigga. we have a whole Fuck new that. OC, bro. Like, uh, uh, I'm that. Back that we ate one with come the on, OC. Come on, come on, Antonio Brown. Brown I mean, is good, um, nigga. AJ um, Brown is looking like the best receiver in the NFL right now. Yeah, I know. I know. Rome's talking shit. Like, AJ yeah, yeah, no, Brown. No, they fighting over targets. No, they were. They were early, like early in the beginning of the year. Yeah, but AJ Brown's been balling out of control the past fucking eight weeks. Yeah, and Devontae Smith has been reliable. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's like, yeah, like, I mean, I mean, well, you, I mean, like, you, you act like the tush push, probably show, you know, it's just all of our offense. No, like, you know, this nigga Jalen Hurts, he be slinging the ball to these niggas, bro, where, you know, we have, oh. we have, you know, <laughs> yes, you know, and we have, we have running backs, you know, that can get, like, get some yardage, bro. It's not, you know, it's, it's more complex than that. We have an OC, bro, that's, that's like first year. Like he's like he he's he's trying to learn. He's trying to get chemistry with these niggas. Imagine bro. an OC getting paid millions for a QB sneak play. Like get the fuck out of here, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. You so bitter as fuck, bro. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm, gonna need, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you to draw up a better play than that, nigga. Like let me see let me see let me see a, see a wheel route. Let me see a flea flicker, nigga. The flea flicker. <laughs> Let me see some real like football play other than this bullshit. I mean, nigga, we, I mean, we, we did a, we, we did a sweep. I mean, but if it's like, working, we, I mean, what can you do? I mean, bro, we did do a sweep to the fucking to the quarterback sneak, nigga. So it's like we did, like we showed niggas, like it's not just the, you know, it's not just doing that. Like we can have running backs like the five yard line. We do that shit, and they can still bounce on the outside against the end zone, nigga. Like, you know. You know, we just we just don't we just do have to throw niggas off, bro. But I mean, the results are the Eagles are eight and one. You know, and truthfully, we should be nine and zero. But you know, our team beat ourselves, and the Jets' defense was just Super Bowl caliber. You know, so it's like you know, shit happens. You know, the fuck out. See, see how he put put bring up the Jets to to show how his loss is valid. Like, oh yeah, they it was they played, they played Super. They play Super Bowl caliber. The same team he's talking about. Oh, they four four, nigga. Oh, they play Super Bowl. Yeah, because caliber the Jets offense defense. is high school level, nigga. Like you know, that's the real. The Jets defense is a problem. The offense is not. It's just in that game, you that that game was a game Listen, manager. I can name I can name seven quarterbacks I'd rather have than Jalen Hurts, even though they eight and one, nigga. Promise you. <laughs> damn. Yeah, sure, nigga. Whatever, yeah. nigga. Whatever. Right now, the fuck right now, they say, now it's Pat Mahomes. That's as bad as the damn. Um, All the way taking Pat Mahomes. Fifteen but... fighters better than Tank. Yeah. Can you <laughs> name eight quarterbacks better than Jalen Hurts? 
Yeah, I mean, if it's unless it, unless it's Mahomes, you know, or or Lamar, like you know, it's like I mean, I, I, I that's cool, just you know, too like you gotta like yeah, like I, 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 you know, I I'm the, times. remember I did remember when earlier in the year I, and with the whole pushback with Tank on the right. pound for pound list. Yeah, but don't hold on. I want to see King P. Am I jumping out the window? Jo- Deshaun Watson is better than Jalen Hurts. No, not now. Deshaun Watson has played like trash. Yeah. Since yeah. he's come back from his suspension, he's played horrible. Yeah, but Did you see the last game? Yeah. You see his game last week? Before Massage Gate, before Massage Gate, Deshaun overall, Watson was he's played horrible. Before Massage Gate, Deshaun Watson was top five ish, but he ain't, he ain't been that since. Man. He ain't been this yeah, back. He man. fell off. Hurts yeah, right so now is be. better than Watson. I mean, why, why he fell off? Because he, why he fell off? Because he's still throwing for 300 a game. Nah, so how he fall off? Nah, he's not playing good, bro. Amari Amari Cooper is one of the top receivers in the league. How did he only Burrow? I mean, really, only Burrow, Josh Allen, you can say over Hurts. I mean, besides obviously, hell no. No, no, I'm just saying saying those have an argument more than fucking Deshaun Watson. What the hell? Yeah, Rob D, you're right. Yeah, Watson's wash is still at the massage parlor. Yeah, especially, you know, that, that's what affected this play now. This nigga spent too much yeah. money at the massage parlor. It's really only Pat Mahomes. I mean, it's really just Pat Mahomes. Kurt, the only guy Kurt, Cousins, say that. Kurt Cousins is a better quarterback than uh, no. Jalen Hurts. Man, oh nigga, what the no, fuck are you Cousins smoking, bro? Guy. Like, you must be smoking that. You must have a little crack rock in your in your blunt. Right nigga, now. who got the better arm, Kurt Cousins or Jalen Hurts? Are nigga, you Jalen Hurts Hurt. got the better arm, nigga. What the fuck is that? Get the okay. fuck out of here, yo. Kirk yeah, Cousins yeah. got like a hundred wins under his belt, nigga. Jalen Hurts been in the league four years, three hey, years. Listen, uh, just just off, because Kirk Cousins, off, Cousins I thought we basing it off of this season, though. We talking about who's a better quarterback? Kirk Cousins is a better uh, quarterback well, this Kirk, year. Well, 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 Does this season on. have something to do with that? Oh, hold, yeah, he hold tore on, his well, Achilles, but he was throwing yeah. five touchdowns a game. Yeah. Oh damn. Yes, nigga. How is he a touchdown leader and he's been injured for three weeks? He's a stat pattern. Like he doesn't on, win yo. games. And plus, he tore. I mean, he tore his Achilles. So I don't even. I mean, and, see, and, see, and, he would have been. He would have been bro. touchdown leader if see, Justin if Justin Jefferson didn't get hurt and if he didn't get hurt. Touchdown see, leader. Roman's saying that because Vikings have been beating up on the Bears for how long now? That's <laughs> nigga shell shot now. That's the that's the only reason why you're saying that bullshit, nigga. Like you, you like, get the fuck out here, I'm fucking Kirk Cousins, nigga. <laughs> Nigga was what, 12 4, nigga, and got eliminated by the Giants in the playoffs last year, nigga. That nigga's like, fuck out of here. You're like, get out of here. <laughs> uh, that nigga, that nigga is trash, bro. Like, you know, fuck the fuck happens. Overrated. I mean, like, that's, you know, Al Bendy was throwing four touchdowns in a game, bro. Yeah, nigga, Al Bundy was. I, nigga, I, I'll take Al Bundy. If you said Al Bundy, I'll say, okay, bad Jay has. I'm like, hey, you know. <laughs> That's not the best thing. What about what about that boy in Detroit, Jared? Fuck a Jared Goff, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Nah, you, you jump out the window, bro. The only oh there's a lot of other quarterbacks. The there's there's a lot of right other quarterbacks that I'll plug into my team than that QB sneaking ass nigga, yo. Pat Mahomes literally the GOAT quarterback. Besides him, ain't nobody yeah, else. Yeah, at least when Pat Mahomes scramble, he go for 20 yards at a time, nigga. Mahomes, and saying, that nigga's I'm fat and slow. And fucking Jalen Hurts skinny ass is doing QB sneaks behind 25 niggas every play. Get the fuck out of here, yo. Nigga, you, you just sound bitter as fuck, yo, nigga. Wash the hate away, bro. Wash wash the hate, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, wash your face, bro. All that hate, y'all, nigga. Like, nigga, ain't y'all niggas off this week? Shut the fuck up, nigga. Y'all niggas Yeah, nigga, we, we get, we get, nah, nigga, we get healthy, hey, nigga. Hey, chill, chill, chill. Don't, don't talk to him too bad. He, he got to play some best for us, nigga. Chill, like. <laughs> Like yo, yo, yo! So slow down, y'all. Getting like, wait, wait. Yeah, you know, you, you know what? You don't, you don't want me taking Albie's money and you, this nigga hits, and then he asks me for money. I'm like, what money? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, tell, tell Rome to invest in a better quarterback. It's <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you got, you got to make me text LB, tax LB on this shit. I'm like, this nigga say, hey, no, man, we, I we, this we figured, it, dude, dude, we like, nigga, we, we, we got like a system, nigga. Like, we, we be like really like. <laughs> we really making systems and shit. We, we, on, we, also, we on our we we got our own Vegas over here, nigga. We yeah, yeah, Vegas. nigga. Like we we really be doing our own thing, shit. We making them. our own odds, nigga. Yeah, this nigga, nigga, like this thing, like Rome, you know, Rome will probably make me turn into fucking Debo, and this nigga is like smoking <laughs> or red. No, I did that one part late. It's the two <laughs> games that pilot in conscious. Oh, hold on, that's. <laughs> it's King, King P and Pilot that fucking um 
told them that, that said that's going to be an upset, and that's the ones that I think those are two that we didn't even hit on. Yeah. You know, like, I'm like, man, it. like, I don't know, man. Asking y'all to get I mean, like, I'll never forget. Football's any given Sunday. Like, you're better off. Uh, you're better off trying to like build actual like parlays and shit. Like, rather than just going to straight up money lines sometimes. Because, like I said, that shit is any given Sunday. But if you start talking about like this, niggas get this quarterback. This the first score is a safety, or you know, niggas both teams score a field goal and a touchdown in the first half. Shit like that, you'll probably hit that shit more than a straight up money line. You know, fucking like, cause it's just crazy. Like, even though I just checked the money line for fucking Giants and Cowboys, like, the Giants are like, I think they're like twelve hundred or they're, nah, they're like bigger than that. Like, them the, the Giants are like crazy plus, underdogs. Nah, nigga. plus eleven hundred, plus eleven hundred. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it, it, this, that shit is yeah, crazy. Shit is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, truthfully, it, I, truthfully that's, I even, that's I one of the most. That, that's some ridiculous, ridiculous football odds. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I yeah, never, that sounded like I've never seen high before. Well, yeah, Daniel, I, Daniel, Daniel Jones, but but Daniel Jones is out, and y'all seen that nigga that was backing him up? Like it's a wrap for them niggas. Yeah, I I, I almost want to put I, I almost want to put a fuckery bet on that just in case because I hate the Cowboys so yeah. much. Yeah, I, I just want to put a fuckery bet like the niggas. Put twenty dollars on the Giants, you might win twenty one grand or some shit, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yo, Damn. honestly, I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at that parlay because. I have a feeling that, you know, like I said, I, I I could get paid off some fuckery in that fucking game. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at some I'm gonna look at that when that shit starts getting available. And then Anthony Manzano, the referee screwed the Dolphins during that game against the Eagles, man. How the hell Thank you, you, thank you. How how the hell can you guys not get any penalties called on you? That was complete bullshit. Niggas, we play good football, nigga. That's why we get no penalties for us, nigga. We play good clean football, American style football, nigga. American is apple fucking pie, nigga. That's why we didn't get no penalties, nigga. Like, the NFL loves yeah. us. The NFL loves to see the quarterback sneak, nigga. You know, you that's was, what you, it is. You would have swore these niggas won the Super Bowl last year the way this nigga did. I know. <laughs> Man, look, honestly, you gonna have... Yo, yo, if y'all niggas don't win the Super Bowl, like... It's over for y'all. Like, I don't I think... Doubt, I, listen, I niggas doubt... Niggas will be talking mad shit, bro. Listen... I doubt these niggas win the NFC again. I promise you. Like fuck that, yo. The fuck out of here, nigga. We right now. Hey, y'all gonna hold on? Y'all gonna bet on that? <laughs> right now, the probability of us winning the NFC is like seventy eight percent, nigga, and it's only halfway through the season. You know, right? y'all gonna win the NFC. I mean, that's a given, pretty much. Y'all gonna win the NFC. Stop. Stop. Season. Who the fuck's gonna stop football. us, the Niners? First of all, <laughs> clean football. You guys had a horse collar tackle on Cedric Wilson right in front of the goddamn referee. Damn, when someone spells out goddamn, like you can tell that shit hurt them. Like, I mean, it was no horse collar. Do you see that nigga's head jerk the other way? Pause, nigga. Nah, it was not. It was no horse collar tackle, nigga. Like he, 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 he pretty he, much he he tapped me lying like a motherfucker. No, nah, this nigga he tapped me bias as fuck though. Like we nah, already nah. know. Like. Now, dude, just tapped Cedric. I'm sorry. It's like here, go down. You know, go down real quick. And he went down. Pause, nigga. Like it was no horse collar on that shit, nigga. I saw that shit with my own eyes, nigga. Like it was yeah. like, like I, football. It, 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 horse collars a thing because I've never even heard that term before. Yeah, if you gra- if you tackle a nigga by the neck of his shoulder pads, nigga, that is not legal. <laughs> Can't do that. It's like grabbing a nigga. Oh, so like you know when people trot the horse by the by the I think the rain? Is it horse? Collar? Yes. Yeah, oh, you can't okay, you, you can't do that to a nigga like today. because you can you can you can injure a nigga doing that shit. So the NFL is like. So why y'all know, did it then? Nah, we we didn't do that. It was good clean football, bro. Like, you know. Nigga, if I send you to play, you'll be like, damn. Nah, the, the, I, the, I, I, you want to see it now. Like, nah, 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 nah nigga. be on that bullshit sometimes. Like, nah, in, nah. like in NBA, that's what we call a flagrant two, nigga. That nah, nigga I, I, damn, nah. <laughs> nah so, you up here doing flagrant twos, nigga. Like, chill. Nah, it wasn't a flag. Nigga, we're we're we're, the, we're one of the most least penalized teams in the league. I don't know what the fuck niggas is talking. Yeah, because about. y'all paying the most to the refs, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> say y'all paying. Y'all the cutting the most checks. That's what the fuck that means. Nah, I don't, I don't know about all that, nigga. All Dude. I know is good, clean football, nigga. That's all I fucking know, bro. Good, clean football. Good, clean bullshit, nigga. Let, that's let me all. Get, Anthony, you you must be a Dolphins fan. Yeah, you must be. You, you need to worry more about Tua. Like you know, you know, one more hit, one more like you know, one more tackle to the ground, and this nigga will be oh, doing damn. permanent gang signs, nigga. Yo, like, Tua, Tua, <laughs> listen, 
It's so funny watching Tua play now. If that nigga even sees a, a fucking somebody coming there and he just throws the ball out of bounds, he don't even give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's, that, that's the reason why the Eagles beat him. That's the reason why. The and Eagles also, the Dolphins, the Dolphins, they haven't, they can't beat a good team. Like you know, they're good, but they, they if, be losing. So if it looks off. like a nigga is gonna tackle him, he's like, oh fuck that, fuck that, run out of bounds. Whoa, whoa, so, yeah, hey, pause. You pause, wanted pause, Herbert Newton? Pause, pause. What, what do you mean? What do you mean, bro? What do you mean? Clarify, what, clarify. What do you mean? Herbert Newton? Wait, wait, what? what? <laughs> you, you you wanted Herbert? Why 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 do you want Justin Herbert new, bro? Like what? Are, like, I didn't want that to do it. I wanted her, but the whole time during the what the fuck. Nigga, you said you want why why do you want Justin Herbert new, bro? Oh, no, you typing too fast. You like nigga, just take your time to read. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like, I'm not okay. I'm gonna read every fucking word. I didn't want that. Could do it. Period. <laughs> I wanted her, but the whole time during the draft. What the fuck does that mean? If I'm <laughs> reading it wrong, like, like, come on, like, damn. You gotta read. You gotta read it like it's the nigga talking. Like, to- <laughs> I never heard this man's voice. What the fuck? Like- okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I wanted Herbert to be drafted by the Dolphins the whole time during the draft, and I got pissed when he drafted Tua. Oh, okay, guys. See, okay. how come when Pat, how come when Pat reads it, it makes sense? <laughs> Motherfucker, he just read the correct <laughs> shit. God damn. Like, the nigga fixed it up. It was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Fixed it up. Pat read it first, and it's like, yeah, he get all the credit. God damn. The nigga spit it on your fucking parents, and not use them on this nigga damn side and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, how come when Pat reads it, it sounds like a... a Desertion from college, like or, or some shit. Like, <laughs> well, it sounds like the acceptance speech for the Pulitzer Prize winner. Like, nigga, no. Oh man, so, enough uh, fucking football. I know y'all got something else to talk about. Uh, yeah, college football, uh, nigga. Y'all seen? Stop looking, this nigga say college football. Oh my god. Stop <laughs> looking up. Stop looking up to, look up to Lor- the Lori Harvey and glorifying these. Uh, these women, that's all I gotta say. What the fuck she do now? Who's she fucking? She broke up with sorry, Shade Room Hour. She broke up with uh, Damson, the guy from from um from uh Snowfall. Man, who cares that that contract relationship? It keeps popping up my goddamn timeline. I hate seeing that shit, man. But yo, basically she's, she's at the point now where before it was like, oh damn, you with Larry Harvey? Oh, that's exclusive. She at the point now where if you get with her, you're not even trying to be known that you're with her because you're like, damn, if she fuck with too many niggas, I don't even want yeah, niggas yeah, to know yeah, I'm yeah, even talking to You know you want borrowed time with her. Like, you, 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 get the month, you, get, you get the one-year subscription. You get the one-year subscription and no, yeah, no time like, What's the point? Like, yeah, I mean, she, she could, I mean, yeah, like, first of all, she doesn't do shit. She's like a socialite. Like, she lives off Steve Harvey's money or whatever. And then she dates I mean, all she these Hollywood the niggas. And, shit. I mean, and for whatever reason, all these Hollywood niggas fall in love with her like deeply, like Michael B. Jordan did. And then she's like, "Oh, okay, I'm up. Time's up. You know, bye bye." Because she just seemed like a un- she just looked like a fine, unpro- un- unproblematic chick that just you just like fuck it. You just I like you being around because you barely talk. You just look good. Yeah. And I get the smash. Like, like okay, I guess who wouldn't want that around? <laughs> Yeah, it, it it just seems like every every it seems like wear every, out too, though. yeah it just seems like every guy with her like the, they they take all these cupcake and ass romantic pictures and it's like whoa look at Lori's new man and then two months Wait, later what threw me off was when she had future looking like oh uh, yeah she had future looking like that nigga was in love yeah she, that means she must she must have good coochie then that's probably the only thing I can say nigga. I mean like, I mean she is I mean even though she's probably getting worn out she does look kind of fine I mean you know like not like you know like, he said yeah. she does look kind of fine. that bitch is I mean beautiful. I mean she can't yeah, I mean I'm saying she's fine, fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's she's you know what it is right you know what it is she wants she, want, she one of them pretty girls that you can't stand to be around like that's mm. why her relationships keep phasing in and out. Like niggas be like, "Oh yeah, she fine as fuck. Let me get with her." Yeah, they, and they, get, with her. they get with her, and after two weeks, she walking around on that fucking beast Simone. I don't shower shit, or she walking around on some Doja Cat shit, talking to birds in the morning. You like, yo, I gotta get the fuck out of here, yo. Yeah, it's it's either that though, and all these Hollywood niggas. Uh, I swear, like they fall in love, and they hear like they hear that Billy Ocean. Suddenly, life has new meaning. To me, and you well, now Michael like, B. Jordan looked like he was tore up over it, but everybody else kind of seemed like they went, they moved about their business because 
the future went with some other buddy, somebody else after that. Like everybody moved. In. It's like Michael B. Jordan was the only one who seemed like he really fell in love. Like yeah, no, and, and I remember, I remember because they they, they 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 actually called him out because he was at that NBA game. Nigga was looking like he had a lot of struggle on his face. Like bro, is like, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah a popular meme where like Michael See, B. Jordan. What, what, like, what I feel like, like happened to him was. He probably walked in and seen her with future or some shit. Like, he's seen her. <laughs> he, sensational. He, 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 he had to, because, like, if she was just on some regular shit, like, yeah, nigga, I think it's time to move on. I'm sure he would have been like, man, all right, whatever, whatever. Nah, but remember, but I, there was talks of him wanting to marry her. Like, he yeah, yeah, yeah. every time, every time somebody gets with her, they say that. Nigga. Nah, like, you didn't hear no future marrying her. You didn't hear no. The uh, this uh, Franklin yeah, Saint ass yeah, nigga yeah, marrying her. Yeah, Franklin Saint didn't say that. Nah, you didn't hear it. Nah, nah. With Michael B. Jordan and the pictures was more cupcake than any other pictures. Like you could tell. Like, but but he you was really in there. You could blame oh. that on his character more than anything. You can't really blame that. I mean, goddamn. Like, does, I mean, does she does she cook does she cook like immaculate grits or something? Like, what the fuck, nigga? Like, <laughs> that, bitch, that bitch don't eat grits. Look at her. You don't eat no fucking grits. I mean, mean, I'm trying to think. Does she make a fire bowl of cereal? Like, why is like, like, like <laughs> a fire bowl of cereal? She probably <laughs> make a good. She probably make a good kale smoothie. That's what that bitch be making. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Anthony Manzano. Yeah, I, I, like honestly, because I'm also tired of hearing about Travis Kelce and Taylor Swift. Like, I'm tired of hearing Taylor Swift. Perry. Like, like next. I heard next, somebody. I see the tweet where there was like, uh, there was a picture of uh, Simone Biles. I guess at yeah, one of the games, yeah. and they was like, "Yo, fuck it, I'm gonna make this go viral because y'all do this shit for Taylor Swift." <laughs> yeah, yeah, because well, because she married to um doing on the Packers, uh, Jonathan Owens, I think. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I'm like, so you hype that like, up, like, and she a legend. <laughs> yeah, and, and of course, you know, that's a black couple, but yeah, you know, they don't get even a quarter, or not even not even a tenth, or twentieth, or twenty fifth. Yeah, you're talking about fraction levels, like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have to because it seems like every day I hear, like, uh, even in uh, we watch NBA shit, all of them, they all, like, once they start talking about the Chiefs, you know, these they Taylor Swift. And I'm also tired of seeing the Chiefs players in commercials, too. I'm sick and tired of seeing Patrick okay. Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. Travis and Kelsey, Pop- a.k.a. What did Aaron Rodgers call him? Mr. Pfizer? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mr. Pfizer. Well, the thing is, too, like... What I you want to see, DeAndre Swift in a commercial, nigga? <laughs> yes, <laughs> nigga, yes, nigga, I, I, Absolutely. I'm tired of here, Otto man. and Mahomes and and Jake from State Farm. I'm tired of us seeing and Andy and Andy Reid. I mean, even though he was a Phillies coach, in eating chicken nuggets on the commercial. I'm tired of seeing all the Chiefs in the fucking commercials, you, nigga. You like, know, it'll be a funny commercial, like a good Super Bowl commercial. If these niggas like are trying to rob a bank, all of the Philly niggas, and then they do the brotherly shove to get through the vote. Nigga, I, 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 Honestly, I don't know if I should be insulted by that or laugh my ass off or be insulted and laugh at the same time. You just silly nigga, bro. They'll be like, yo, how do we get in this? They'll be like, Jalen Hurts come in like, oh, brother, leave the Them niggas lined up. (laughs) Yo, you stupid nigga. Yo, could it work on one of those like Mission Impossible type of setups where you know how they have like the those lasers going all across the room and, <laughs> and he push him and he, he stumble over the laser like okay got through like oh yeah, shit. like all right we good hey yo yeah. and, if, if NFL if y'all do that remember we heard that shit first Rome said that shit so that shit is yeah, trademark. Nigga. So if that's if mm. we ever if we see a commercial that does that, then we know Big Brother's watching. So uh, I'm gonna yeah, need like, my hands. I'm gonna need my hands, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he gonna want Chief tickets for season Chief tickets. <laughs> nigga, fuck the Chiefs. Fuck the Chiefs. I want them Soldier Field tickets, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. I hope they bomb that fucking field, bro. Like nasty ass field, nigga. God damn! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, it is real, like, bro. Like you know, what yeah, saying like, nigga, the world is in stressful times, and this thing is gonna say you have to <laughs> bomb my field. What the fuck? I mean, I, th- I know the world is an op, but goddamn, like, yeah. like I mean, we, 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 you know, <laughs> we was talking about buildings blowing up and cars getting flipped over. This thing is talking about. Nah, you know what? We gotta fuck up this football field. Like, no yes. way we gonna let this football <laughs> like, field damn, be Damn, my unscathed. team is like, that bad, nigga. <laughs> like, like, why are you that angry at your team? I, I mean, know we 
We fourth to last, but nigga, you gonna blow up the field? Just get rid of the team? No, I'm not saying people. I'm, I just want the field that. blown. No, up. I'm saying my team. Like, get rid of my team. Yeah. No, no, I, oh, I fucking thought it meant it literally. Like, this nigga wanted, like, someone to drop, like, a, a, a bunker booster, a, a, a cluster bomb on the field. Like, like, but fuck this goddamn team. Like, I mean, no. I don't I, even I, deserve I, to practice. Like, I mean, no, I'm not. That's sick. what he meant. That's what, that is what he meant, nigga. Oh, what when mean? you're talking about blow up my team, like, I thought, oh, fuck, bars. Yeah, nigga, I'm nigga, thinking, like, you're like, you know, just take the team and move this nigga over here. And take him. Bo- oh, oh, okay. We ain't talking like Pat Riley, nigga. We talking real, like literally, nigga. <laughs> That's what made it so funny because I'm thinking he literally like. Well, it looks Fuck like your parents, team, nigga. your parents hung on to win, bro. Like you know, by three. <laughs> so yeah. Where we is now, Pat? <laughs> Who we is? Dude? Hold on, weren't you competing with Pilot for that shit? Like <laughs> we on our way. That's what I'm saying. We on our way. <laughs> three wins. Oh man, hey, I mean, like, like I said, that's what that, that's that, that's if you know you're a true fan of the team, man. Even with the good or bad, you know, I mean, shit. When the Eagles were four and twelve, I used to talk. Nigga, to all the time I was this is this is real good because we won two games now with our rookie. That's fire, nigga. Justin Fields been hurt four weeks. We're two and four with him out. That means this nigga needs good. to stay out there. He, nigga, 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 fuck you, nigga. Nigga. I kind of feel bad he for Justin Fields. Speaking man. of Trader Joe's, Fields, Justin Fields might, might be running the Trader Joe's. <laughs> that, that Bears fan base is already turning on him, and so is the franchise after two years. It's not his fault the franchise is incompetent. Yeah, That's a fact. He, he, That's he, a fact. It's facts. Yeah, the Bears, the Bears franchise is incompetent. It's, 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 nigga, we've been saying this for years, ever since they fired Lovey, yo. Yeah, they they always fired a black coach. I'm sorry, I didn't bring it, but they always fired a black coach to get the white coach, and then the white coach. Yeah, they never want to see a nigga up, prosper. You know, that's and why. And, and then, then then they get the black coach to, to fix things, like the interim coach, and they get the white coach and fuck it up. And Lo- <laughs> Lovey was the only nigga to get us to a Super Bowl since the Super Bowl shuffle, nigga. And them niggas still got rid of that nigga. He had Yo, they the got number- rid of him after a 10-6 season. That's the wildest Listen, thing. We had the number one defense, all that shit. Like niggas couldn't stop us. Yeah, like, come on. Hold on, did y'all beat the Eagles that year? Yeah, probably. Oh, probably, we probably problem. blew them out. We probably blew them out. That's before they had anybody. Them niggas was just trash two years ago. Now look at Pat. Nigga, <laughs> if you don't shut up with that. <laughs> y'all niggas was depending Hold on, on I, 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 I got Come one on. rant. I got, these it. Niggas, I got a rant. These niggas were riding the wave of a backup quarterback and thinking they was doing something, nigga. Nick mm. Foles is y'all greatest accomplishment. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> nigga sounds bitter as fuck, nigga. Come on, no. but Nick Foles won him a ring, though. I mean, come on, man. What are you talking? About? No, he no, he didn't. No, he didn't. The coaching won him a ring, nigga. You could have put any backup quarterback there. No, so you, I don't know, except the, man, except man, the man, Giants man. backup quarterback. Except that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what you what, got what, a what, rant about, about LB? LB? What do you want to say? Ah, okay, my mind is still sports related, but um, I guess because. Uh, this all this only real sports related. Like if you like if you still play basketball, but man, I'm tired of like fucking these the paws, these, these goddamn tall six five niggas screaming at short niggas to grab the fucking rebound in these pickup basketball games. Like niggas just quick to go to the perimeter and play hands and play past the ball and shit instead of post up. Like I mean, like you I niggas mean, is hope. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me get it. I mean, let me get into it. Let me get let me get into it because we had went to go hoop, right? Me and Shadow went to go hoop, right? And so we waiting to play the games. Some niggas they see me and they like, oh damn, that's Kobe. We gotta grab him. We gotta grab him. <laughs> so they so they pick <laughs> me up. Oh, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so they pick me up, right? So I'm playing and I'm thinking, okay, we just gonna lose the game real quick, and then I'll play with Shutterworth. But tell me why I went seven and zero with these niggas, yo. I I want we w- win the game sixteen to zip, twelve to zip, seven zip, twelve to four. Like we was whooping niggas. Yeah, I ain't like, see this really. nigga get off the court for like the whole time until I so, think it was like the last game or so. Like because he- normally me and Shutter play together, and I know how to play with this nigga because I'm facilitated. So I give him the ball, dish that shit, whatever. Mm. Nigga, hold on, don't see it like nigga. I'll be dissing you to rock, nigga. All the screens I'll nigga, be saying, I draw the plays up, nigga. I draw the plays up. Hold on, hold on. 
Y'all actually be running actual plays? Like, y'all in pickup games, y'all actually be really doing that? Yeah, nigga, this basketball. What the fuck? Like, don't tell me you just one of those big niggas that just come out there and be athletic. Don't be doing nothing but just rah, muscle their way to the ball and just jack up shots. Like, nigga, we be setting screens and picking rolls. And yeah, I, I showed this nigga actually how to play basketball. So we be out Get there the fuck screening, out of it. I've been playing basketball screening, before this nigga was rolling, alive. Like, uh, pick and pop, all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, he ain't show me shit like because we so, cause honestly we never played. It's just only this maybe the last since last year we've gotten better chemistry playing the playing with, there, with each other. All right, but Ball. check this out. So, so I fr- we I finally lose on the other side. So I'm like, all right, let me go see what shutter on. So I walk over to his court. This nigga got all niggas. It's like six foot on his team, right? Six foot athletic. Like tall. You had like a six four nigga too. Like. It's not. It's it's not going. And so. Okay. All right. So I go over. I go over there, and then this and this nigga is guarding the most youngest nigga on the court, the most athletic. This nigga had to be fifteen. This nigga was running all around the court and all types of shit. I'm like, yo, why they got you guarding this nigga? He's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, these niggas don't want to listen to, like, with me and hey, Ron, we analyze matchups. We be like, all right, this nigga guard here, that. Like, yeah. So look. Oh, this nigga just appeared. No, I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here. So look, this nigga, this nigga who's screaming at him, right? He's on the first of all, this nigga's at the top of the key. He's the tallest nigga on the court. Shutterworth is guarding three people. And this nigga try to get a rebound. Of course, he gets boxed out and beat up by two people, and then the third person come grab a rebound. This nigga, the tall ass nigga from the top of the key is gonna scream. Are you fucking kidding me? You need to get a rebound. Mind you, Shutterworth is the shortest nigga on the court. <laughs> I'm five ten, nigga. <laughs> And so I'm looking at this nigga, I'm like, nigga, what the fuck, what the fuck is going on? I looked at him, I'm like, yo, what you got going on over here, nigga? These niggas is not playing right, nigga. Dog, this nigga. tall nigga kept fucking being on the, like, bro, unless you're fucking Magic Johnson, get your tall ass under the goddamn basket, motherfucker. It's like, he didn't, he killed until I finally, at the end, I was like, I think it was like, it was getting close to the end of the game, and he kept, and I was like, yo, dude, like, yo, Nigga, you get your tall ass under there, nigga. You the tallest nigga under the court. Like, why am I end up being under the fucking basket more than you? That's the problem. You try to, you want me to grab rebounds and, and you the then, tallest nigga on the court. But what it is, they don't know how to play with this nigga because you can't make this nigga guard the fastest, at most athletic nigga. Ask him to get rebounds. Ask him to defend this nigga. And then when you throw him the ball, expect him to make his shots. Like, no, nigga. <laughs> but, that, but that's for anybody though. You don't wear niggas out like that. I mean, with me, you can put me on the best player and still know I'm gonna hit my threes, nigga. That's just me. Nah, nigga. You know. Nah, nah, I don't say all that, nigga. Nah, I you, mean, you, know. you get yours, but it's the Nigga, difference. don't lie. If we play in the nigga, 12. Ain't lying, you, nigga. Yeah, if, if we play in the 12, who got eight at the end of the game, nigga? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, nah, nigga. nah, I, I be having eight too, eight. nigga. Like that one game, nigga. Yeah, eight assists, yeah. nigga. To me, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, I think hey. I see. I be balling in the games with you don't ask no, with your ass don't play. See, the thing is, the dynamic is when I have a great game and this nigga just need to hit three points. This motherfucker don't hit them three points. Yeah, because I'm a score. <laughs> Either I score all the buckets or I score none of the buckets, nigga. That's nah, motherfucker, you don't just score all of them. <laughs> That's just what I do. But if I had to switch, like I know with the team I had. If I could switch out Rome with that one tall nigga, we would have won yep. because won Rome, every game. Rome could play with with everybody is like five eight over on Rome team, and he's winning. He's going undefeated with these niggas. <laughs> I got motherfuckers who six four, six one, six feet. Everybody athletic could jump, move. So I'm just like, what's the hang up? But it's the matchups, and then it's like niggas don't rotate, like. These niggas, they'll dribble looking down at the ground. So they don't see no cuts or anything. So it just it should just be annoying when you know God how to damn. play basketball. They dribble, they look down at the ground, dribble. What kind of elementary school shit is that? 
Nigga, they be grown ass men. A lot of niggas do that shit. Like they gotta. I mean, they be cutting up and doing everything, but it's just they not they not looking up. Like, like yeah, if you Rob don't cast the rock, you gotta see the the court. Yeah, Rob D said, "Bros are playing that prime Golden State small ball." <laughs> yeah, yeah, like what the fuck? And, and how you that big? Pause, and you playing small ball? Like, pause, like that shit is ugh, like. Yeah, you know, uh, if I think so, whenever I play pickup basketball, I don't think I run like plays like that. You, you, you think you really be doing that shit? Like, it's just more no, like, listen, that's the only no, way to play we basketball. We made play like that. That's the only way to play basketball. Otherwise, you're not gonna make points. Like, you just be getting tired and running around. Cause you gotta, you gotta, know, you gotta know how to play off the ball. Like a lot of these niggas don't know how to play off the ball. That's what it is. It's a bunch of fucking like, Carmelos. Like once you set a screen, listen. My favorite play is a play I don't even score on, right? You check the ball up at the top, whoever's at the wing, I come from the block, the opposite block, go to their wing, set a back screen. All I got to do is come across the elbow and they're open for a layup every time. Every time, because in pickup, niggas are not rotating. And, oh, I'm switch off, switch off. He's, he's screening. So if I set a back screen on a nigga and he just go straight to the basket, that's open layup for every play. And niggas be like, damn, how are we open? How he open? How he so open? <laughs> nigga, it's the screen, dumbass nigga. <laughs> yeah, dude, like when we played, there was one time we won a game and these niggas were like, God damn, man. These niggas ain't even that good. They just outsmarted us. Like, motherfucker, who says that shit? That they, nigga <laughs> sounded like an 80s cartoon villain. Like, <laughs> they outsmarted us this time. Like, <laughs> they got us this time, bucko. Like, nigga. I fucking yo Megatron retreat. <laughs> but we we got to the point where at that court niggas look at us and they be like, oh damn, they they gotta pick up a squad. If they see me and Shutter on the same team, they gotta pick up a squad. Even though yeah. we don't look like we don't look like hoopers, but they know now, like yo, these niggas will win some games. We can't fuck around with these niggas. Cause now niggas don't let us get that damn. No. Like me and Rome got like a fatality with these damn picks. <laughs> Like, yeah, niggas, niggas, like, niggas be like, I ain't gonna lie. Cause if, if you know, if niggas did, if niggas was malicious with it, niggas would fight us over these picks. Cause we be setting some hard motherfucking Let's screens. See. Niggas will run, and I'll just be like, motherfucker be like, pow, and then Roma just shoot that shit, and they'll just drop so fucking poetically, and the nigga just, the fingers are just drizzle like th th this is th this the effect of that shit like yo niggas real, real shit. quick to give these niggas an idea of my ball and abilities mm. shut a word when i shoot the ball what does it touch net nigga that's it right yeah i don't i never roll a shot in i never spin a shot in it never bounces bounces off the top it goes in every every my middle range is shot. like that Every one of my shots, it looks like you drop in an Oreo in a glass of milk, nigga. It just <laughs> <laughs> you, you stupid, yo. <laughs> That's how that should be, though. Know? Like, nah, cause nah, there was one play, like the one, uh, cause this nigga Rome, like, if we, he like sometimes Rome a guard a tall nigga, big motherfucker who could shoot, and for some reason they always take Rome out to goddamn half. Cause they know he ain't gonna. No, nah, cause they game. know if they keep me away from the basket, that niggas is gonna score on y'all. That's what happened. Yeah, no, nah, and they, and they do it, and we we had talked about it, cause we 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 was. Cause not I tell y'all the game plan, cause I yeah. listen, I play ball, so I know I'm like, yo, these niggas are bringing me to half court so they can drive on you niggas. Yeah, they isolate you. Cause remember, we talked about it, and we was like, damn, cause you know I don't get the help defense. I was like, yeah, so. The, f the next game, very next game he played, somebody had a nigga I picked up on a team earlier because he looked athletic and, and tall and shit. I was like, okay, this nigga, he look like he, he, he a hooper hooper. How about he did that shit that he ended up dunking on a nigga? Like, listen, like, listen, this nigga brought me to half court, right? And he's hitting, he hit like two threes from half court. Yeah, he, he's like, hitting two, th like threes from half court. Like from the circle, from the circle. I'm like, yo, I'm not, I told them niggas, I'm like, yo, I'm not guarding him. Because if I guard him out there, he's going to blow by me and he's going to dunk on y'all. And they <laughs> like, and then he hit another three and they're like, yo, bro, come on, man. Come on, man. He's scoring all the points for you, man. Go, go, go. Yeah, him. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I'm not finna guard no nigga at half court. This nigga better make 10 half court shots in a row. But I'm like, all right. <laughs> 
Hey, he like, will, right. though. But he made four, so I'm like, all right, fuck it. I got to guard him. Like, after you make four half-court shots, it's like, okay, this nigga's on a, on a roll. Let me, <laughs> <laughs> let me hey, y'all know that it is four half-court shots, bro. No, from the circle. I'm telling you, from, from the, the circle. circle like, jump yeah, shot. Yeah. Just a jump shot. He, he was checked really, the ball and I'm talking about net. No, no Tim Duncan glass. Like, net. God, but hold on, hold on. Real quick. When we got the ball back, who hit three back to back threes though? Oh no, no, Rome was shooting with this yeah, nigga now. Rome was exactly. No, nah, I got the points. No I got the points right back. Like yeah. he was jaying my ass, but I got them right back. But look, so I step up on him, half court. Of course, what does he do? Quick jab step. He's faster than me. So the nigga was probably to be like 170 pounds faster than me. So I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> this nigga took off. This nigga took off from the free throw line and did a yeah. fucking two hand dunk on this nigga on my team, like destroyed him. Like it was one of the, the nastiest. Nigga was like this. Like it was, this. Listen, it was one of the nastiest in game dunks I ever seen in a park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It was because the two hand. It was just the momentum, just seeing where he came from. Because it, it was wasn't that. like it wasn't like he just dunked over the top of him. It's like he climbed him and and dunked yeah. on him like. They jumped together and he kept going up over him. <laughs> it ducked over oh, so him. Vince Carter <laughs> shit. The only <laughs> thing would have made it worse if dude would have fell. If it dude would have fell, I would have just we would have ran out of the park. I'd have been like, ah. Because <laughs> when I it happened, the whole court, the whole, I mean, there's like six. Yo, how many? That's a lot of fucking basketball court. I think it's like four or something. Four, six courts. Six courts. Six courts. Six courts. And when I say when that shit happened, we're at the oh, we're all the way at the end court. The whole fucking arena shit just like kind of like got silent when it happened. Like niggas, all the attention went to that dunk. Like I was like, oh shit, this was some amazing shit right here. Like, and what did I tell you? I told I told y'all niggas like, yo, just let me guard him like Rondo, cause I'd rather him shoot threes than fucking dunk on y'all. I wasn't playing, nigga. I was, I was a spectator. Like, but I feel this, you, like. Y'all let this nigga dunk on y'all. Like, he ain't even give a fuck. He, yeah, but yeah, yeah. mind you, he didn't get a layup or dunk on me the whole game. Yeah, he was only shooting lights out. That, that's the only thing he could do, really. Yeah, I'm just sure hey, Anthony Montano's hey, comment. He says, please yeah. tell me Rome is not one of these motherfuckers that brags about his skill. When I, and when I see him live, it's not as good as I thought it was. No, nah, I'll, nigga. Fuck, nah, nigga, nah, Rome can fucking pull up to the court. I will pick everybody on the court that I know is retarded, half slow, and we'll still get a win on your ass, nigga. <laughs> there was only one person I could remember being so garbage, we couldn't win with them. Like, and the other team knew it, because they kind of set us up with that, because in that game, me and Rome was like shooting lights out on both sides of the court. Oh, like, boy, but who the fuck said that? I need them niggas to play me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anthony Manzano, nigga. We can play this Sunday. Yeah, nigga. Bro, football nigga. He'll where, tell you basketball in his best court. But that that nigga can play. He can legit play. Like I, I ain't gonna, I ain't capping. Yeah, basketball wasn't my best sport, but I wanted it to be my best sport, nigga. That's that's what it is. Like I wanted to be raw at basketball. It just never materialized, nigga. <laughs> but, but I think it's the, the nastiest park dunk I in game park dunk I seen had to be back. This before I. Uh, Met Rome, the um, but he he knows the people we was I was playing with um, this nigga Rohan, bro. But we had we played a five on five full court, and we had our squad because our squad used to come from work. It'd be all our coworkers, mm-hmm. so we'll have our point guard, we'll have a power forward, a small, all that shit. And so we went against a squad that had like maybe two jits, regular size niggas, maybe six feet. Then you had one nigga who was like six three. But this motherfucker had on cargo pants, sunglasses, and slides. <laughs> now, now, but the nigga looked like he could play though. So I'm just like, I. Right. So this nigga Rohan like, yo man, yo Jay, guard him. I'm like, motherfucker, no, no. How <laughs> do y'all always try to make me guard the tallest motherfucker on the team, nigga? You six two, guard him. And so my manager at the time was like, yeah, nigga, guard him. What the fuck you doing, like, nigga, like? And so we playing. <laughs> We get a couple we get a couple plays going all of a sudden this nigga with the shades and the slides he gets a rebound or one of the jits get a rebound pass it to him he goes down court he do a fucking spin move on roll on the nigga guarding him crosses another nigga goes down court dunks it one hand 
I was like, mother fuck, how you let this nigga do this shit? He gets another one. Does it on the opposite side of the court. I think left hand. God damn. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Like the nigga really took off full speed in slides, cargo pants, and sunglasses. And when I say none none of this shit fell off, the the shades didn't end up crooked. <laughs> cargo pants weren't unruffled. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking slides kept on perfectly, so I'm just like, I, I mean, we ended up beating them niggas, but fuck, like I, that shit was embarrassing. You, you have to win, you have to win a game if your man's getting done like that. Like, you just. Hey, uh, another question, because like, Anthony says, shit. yeah, because Anthony just Anthony said that he's in Sarasota. Like, I know that's the Florida. Oh, damn, oh, yeah, oh, 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 Sarasota, oh, 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 nigga. <laughs> Pull up the brower, nigga. Where you a at? Six hundred dollar ticket just to fly out and play me a basketball. Ah. Yeah, nigga, it's it's what else is popping in Sarasota? Like, that's go down game, nigga. You, that's the ring game premium package. You can get your ass beat by room top five in a two on two, nigga. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> right, so we got to start putting up basketball yeah. content. Nah, we got to yeah. charge. We got to charge niggas for that. We got to charge niggas to lose. Yeah, to me, like, nigga. Yeah. Bring ring gang to your city. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all see the donation banner? Like, yeah, bring ring gang to the city so we can ball out with y'all. <laughs> we'll, we, 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 we'll pull up in a car full of nothing but sports. This nigga got basketball in his in his damn uh trunk. Listen, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, me, Shutterworth, Pilot, and King P. In a four on four against anybody. I don't know if Pac and ball, nigga. You're a little too big, nigga. You might not be able to move. Nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that comment. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you but, can't say that because when I if you look at it, the first tier of ring gang is like all the sports niggas. Like I know Pilot and King P and the rest of these niggas ain't training like how No, I know they don't hoop. I know listen, I know Pilot and King P don't hoop. That's why I'm saying I'll pick them two up and you and I'll play anybody in the four and four. You say I'm and oh, wait, don't say and you like <laughs> <laughs> like, like I want these niggas like no, like you get the I mean, light skin package or some shit like hold on no, okay I, I got you I got Shutterworth the goat passer nigga and then I get Pilot and P and I guarantee you I'll be anybody I don't give a fuck who we play we can I play know LeBron. how good this we can play we LeBron play Austin Reeves Anthony Davis and fucking Pat Bev nigga I guarantee you a victory nigga I on, I, Pilot how tall are you He's about 24 spoons long. <laughs> See, nigga, when you sleeping in your... No, no, did you, did you leave? 20, 20, I'm about 24. I'm about 24, 25 spoons. <laughs> yo, that's, that, that, that like doesn't sound like, that's, that's like a wild unit of measurement, yo. <laughs> oh, man. But, but yo, um, Anthony, yeah, Anthony um, I saw you kind of like, yeah, like, bro, like, yeah, because usually when we have people on the show, like, we just like to do this shit, in, like, you know, in advance, like, whatever, like that. Like, you know, we have anyone from, like, like talk. Like, uh, but like I said, don't worry, bro. Like, you, you like, you know, we'll give you some time. <laughs> like, don't worry. Yeah, because, yo, yo, because real talk, like, we, we fuck with y'all, like, really, like, but we really do have, like, a, like, not, not necessarily a format, but we do have, like, like we do game plan for the shows like yeah niggas think see. podcast is just sitting down talking nigga we've been doing this shit for three years niggas don't know like this is this is articulated even though we like, just shoot even though we shooting shit it's planned shit like yeah, i plan like, for this shit like uh, like like for instance like even henny god henny god's been on our show but i've had to tell many guys like yo you gotta tell us in advance and i had to give him the shit in advance you know, just you know, we always have to make sure shit is always done. So, and even then, that was uh, that was kind of planned because we was like, "Yo," he said in advance. He was saying just like you, like, "Yo, yo, I gotta get on one of these shows, one of those shows." You're like, "All right, we gonna have a perfect episode." And I'm trying, what what fucking episode was it? Like, uh, it was a music one. It was a music one, yeah, for sure. I can't remember an exact topic, but yeah, we had them all here and we chopped it up. It was cool. Like, um, I even told the like Android, I plan on um bringing him to the show um hopefully in november because we want to do a good ufc mma episode because i know he'd be i'm sorry blazing killer yeah <laughs> but uh, uh android just got an android uppercut just got a, a a reputation for just bodying motherfuckers on twitter when it comes to that ufc mma shit so yeah 
you know, we was going to give you all the chance. <laughs> yeah, Henny God said top, uh, it was a top 50 list. Oh, okay, yeah, top 50. Like, okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah we, we do well, like I said, though, like, Anthony, though, we're, 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 we'll, we'll get you on, but like I said, we do like to, like I said, we do plan things. If we plan, what would be the subject you guys want to talk about if I come up? Like, uh, like, let's put like, like, I mean, honestly, because what we do is like, I mean, you know, we 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 do based on engagement, and then if it comes up in our plans, like, hey, we're talking about this, then you know, more often than not, like, that's that's how we do. Well, let me ask you this: What would you want to talk? What would be your subject? All right. right. If if you ever did a show and and you just like, yo, damn, that'd be a good time. I'd love to be on that show because that that's honestly. A, a better way for us to figure out, like yeah, no, absolutely, yeah, no, you, you right. You see so, how, right. like, when Henny, when Henny got with the music, like, yeah, definitely, yeah, he, he, he spoke, and we was like, yeah, we got to get him on for the music. Android, mm-hmm. I already know it's the boxing MMA shit. So, like, with you, we got to figure out, like, what's the shit you want to speak about when you get on the show? Like, what's the episode, a topic that you think you'll fuck with? And you know, we just make some beautiful content. But yeah, like, definitely, you know, we'll we'll rock, we'll rock out with you. He's a whole old school pro wrestling comics, old TV shows, rock music, old school. Like, hold on, like, like hold on, is this the same show? Is this Ring Game? Like, well, we do, we, we do, we do do the wrestling shit. But yeah, we do wrestling yeah, shit. Not, nah, I, I was looking at the rock music and old school the rock country, music country. Like, I don't know about all that, but yeah, like, you, we'll fuck with the wrestling and, and the comics and the old TV shows. Yeah, yes, yeah, especially wrestling. Like, I mean, so I know if if King P is on there, you know. And we talk. We talk about some old school wrestling shit. Like we'll make. Like I mean, I have your Twitter, so we'll we'll definitely make sure to like contact you. It's like, yo, we about to go talk about some, you know, we'll talk about pro wrestling because we we've done it before. So, yeah. but at least, but at least this is good. This is good for us to know at least old TV shows, old school. But you, like so you said, pro wrestling, you know. So that's that. You know, that's a ding, 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 ding. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, especially because you know, King P is more than happy. I mean, I, I mean. I know Paul Especially me, I got old old wrestling, new wrestling, like yeah. Yeah, me too. Uh, me too. I, I, I can watch that. Yeah, I, I can discuss wrestling. Yeah, you know, it, it, yeah, we need Rob when it comes in for real quick. If Rob we need to talk he knows the West Coast rap like nothing, like everything. So we need to do like something with, with the West Coast rap shit. The nineties mm-hmm. West Coast rap shit, we gotta get Rob on here. Oh, no, only if Rob had Yuck Mouth double album better than Life or Death. <laughs> Wait, let's see, let's see. <laughs> if he don't, then I I, I can't agree because you ain't no real West Coast nigga. If you got Biggie shit, better. And, and then and then Henny God because and I I saw this. He said, you know, hit me up, put me on the panel for the R and B verses. We actually do have Ooh. one. Yes, motherfucker. Yes, so I know you. I know you. you. Yeah, so I know you and um, what's the name? But ask for it, and we do have one. We do have a show planned for that. For yes, one. yeah, I I already made the whole fucking um. The, the graphic for it is already it's, it's a classic we definitely gonna we it's in the works it's definitely we gotta just plan the day because november is such a fucking hit or miss fucking month there's like right. no fights then there's fights at the end but then you got a holiday toward the end so it's yeah. kind of yeah the so holiday. It's like, yeah we want to do more uh shows it's just at one time we was doing like maybe three shows a week sometimes, but now it's just been two. And just life, man. But um But you yeah, know it, it, it's the, we up. definitely have it, it's definitely playing. We just we just have to figure out when. But yeah, I'll definitely hit you up on so I know you've been asking for us for a, for a hot minute, like when we started when we were doing the verses before. So yeah, we I we definitely we, got we actually go do a movie versus as well. Like yeah, we got that in the we got that in the works as well. Um mm-hmm. that's what I was asking earlier about the whole if what would be a second week what would be the second episode next week right yeah because i was gonna bust out and be like yo let's do the uh movie first but then if we don't have a date then it's like uh, right right but yeah it's, it's a lot goes involved in trying to plan this shit twins conversation one of the best albums ever heard that don't get talked about oh the dub set yeah 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 hey. absolutely yeah twins was dope yeah warren g um all of them Round and Round is a classic to me. That's a summertime classic to me. I just love that shit. I still do. Guys, yeah. listen to old classic rock. Man, yeah, if I'm watching damn Cobra Kai or, or, or some shit, like that should be hard. <laughs> and, and I mean, like for background music, like working out and shit, like, like, cause this is the thing. If I'm working out and then it's just purely rap, I'm gonna wanna start rapping the words and shit. 
Yeah, like my old school gym where I used to box and lift, whatever. The owners used to play that old school rock, like sticks and all of them. Like they used to play that shit. Like and and, I was, I, and it got to the point where I couldn't even work out well because because this shit was like it shit was like aggressive music, like shit like that. Whereas I think the one time they actually put rap on, I was too distracted because I kept on trying to like you know rhyme along and shit like that. I was just like yeah, yeah. like like rap is only cool for like jumping rope because you know when yeah. you can rap with while you're jumping rope, it's like. You can tell, like you, 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 you at that level, nigga. Like let me, let me spin a can of his first jumping rope, nigga. Like, like I remember, I, I be, I be hitting like the Alice heavy and Change. Shit. Oh fuck yeah, I remember them. So I remember I'd be hitting the heavy bag and shit, and and I think they were playing Biggie or whatever. And I'm like, God damn, I'm getting distracted because I don't want, I don't want to hit the heavy bag no more. I just want to be on some, like some smooth shit. It is just like, yeah, it, yeah, no, I, I hard rock like the old '70s, '80s rock in there. That yeah. shit, that shit is more it's not, not music. Really the 90s it's the 70s 80s rock that mm. really hit hard for training like that shit just that heavy metal just hit different like you really want to beat somebody ass welcome to the jungle style type shit yeah the 90s the 90s rock you know, went into a little bit more softer shit or niggas like Kurt Cobain like kind of like wailing and shit like that that shit wasn't yeah it was music. still hard but not that like like <sighs> Like, like you can you see how you could partner rap with heavy metal, and it kind of just hits, but you couldn't really partner rap with that type of '90s rock. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I mean, I know you had the Linkin Park and Jay Z and shit, but that took a while. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like that shit ain't just like it ain't come out the gate. You're not gonna get a walk this way so easily with them niggas. <laughs> right, <laughs> but but right. you ain't gonna like it. If you go on tour and you see a Guns and Roses and NWA tour, nigga, that's probably like a goat tour. Like, right? <laughs> the amount, the amount, imagine the fuckery being there at that concert, nigga. Like, prime NWA Guns and Roses, nigga. Damn, Rage Against the Machine. Damn, you saying some name? Fucking Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun. Yeah, I got. I fuck with you. Okay. Yeah, like, I mean, probably in the nineties, probably like the dopest one, dopest rock rap collabos that no one talks about is fucking Onyx and Biohazard from back in the day. That's Yo, it. motherfucker, you're right. That shit gets so underrated. Yeah. That's one of the goat collabs that no one talks about it. Yeah, because I mean that because I remember because them like both the groups was raw as fuck, uh, and then that was a wild ass song. I think it was Judgment Night. I think that was the name of the song. Yeah, it was like yeah. You know, it was off that soundtrack, right? The movie. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Judgment yeah. Night. Yeah. Yeah, I think we also yeah, got some. Was hard. I think we also got some soundtrack shit coming up too for the verses. But, yeah, yeah, man, we got some. Yo, 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 we we got some shit though. Like, um, yeah, I guess because I want to knock out the movie one first. Just just because we've been killing the music, mm-hmm. but the soundtrack one is real dope though. Like, mm-hmm. and you see how it hits both levels. Like, right. Both movies is a certain movie. And then you got the soundtrack for it. So, yo, real talk, yo, we'll, we'll probably have to do we'll probably do like a rock rap, like you know, verses or whatever. Like you know, like I said, yo, touch upon that too. Like you know, yeah. And, and if we and if we do, Anthony, we'll definitely you know we'll definitely let you know about it. You see if you fuck with the co- topic, want to join us about it. Like that's another one. Yo, this nigga bust out with the even flow. He talking about Stone Temple Pilots. Like I ain't hear these names in like. Years, 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 years. Mm-hmm. Oh man, like yeah, the nineties was something else, man. You just had to be there, like right. Like, the music <laughs> was just everything, like I mean, just, just something else, man. Yeah, I might need to listen to that Biohazard Onyx shit too. Or the, or the Yo, for real, bro. Like I, I'm just going like, damn, man, I need to. I ain't hear some of these fucking um. I used to fuck with Radiohead too, like mm-hmm. like they they had some shit um. And real quick, you know, the 90s, shouts out to uh, Kel Mitchell, who's who's in the hospital. Hospital. I, I haven't heard if he's okay now, but I know he's in the hospital. Hopefully he's good, you know. Yeah, he's I mean, legend, hope, you know. yeah ho- hopefully it's not anything for drug-related uses, because, you know, he, he, Good Burger 2 is coming out this month. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm oh, not talking about Thanks for correcting me, Rob D. My bad. Yeah, that's Pearl Jam. Sorry about that. But I still ain't hear that song in so long, like... Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, shout outs to uh Kel. Hope you recover. Um that's a fucked up thing. Just hope you bounce back. Yo, Good yeah. Burger too. Yo, this shit is so fucking wild. They're actually like years after like that. Well, not I mean Keenan is still popping. Kel was not. Like, 
and they're actually making a movie about that shit, like another sequel. Like that's yeah, you know, that, that probably tells me that like Hollywood is starting to run out of ideas. Like that movie was like they don't trust 90, no new ideas. That's what it is. Yeah, I mean that movie was like ninety seven, ninety eight. Like that shit, nigga, I was in high school still. Like when I, the first movie came out. And although it was funny though, yeah, it was funny as fuck. But it was just like, geez, like I mean, no, that, I mean, that, I new, one, that, that new one, look, yeah, that new one does not look funny. But that's not, you know, it's not for us. Like I don't. Know. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, who would it be for? These new niggas don't know these motherfuckers. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Yeah, it is for us in a way. Like it is for us. Kids. Yeah, it, it just feels weird to see Kel Metro do it. I'm a dude. You're a dude. We're all dudes. I'm like, nigga, this is 2023. I don't know if we want to be doing all that. Like nigga looks like like in the trailer, look like he's wearing like five pounds of makeup just to make sure, just to make him yeah. look like he was like twenty years old again. Like, <laughs> but I'm probably gonna watch Interceptions on Paramount. <laughs> nigga, is it fucked up that I've never seen good. that shit? Nah, you, you ain't watched the Last Dragon a lot of shit, so I'm not surprised. No offense. Yeah, well, that's '80s though. Like, that's I mean, I know, I but I'm saying if you ain't watched the, the classic in the '80s, you know, the '90s is like, like yeah, see Rome, the '90s classics. Bro, I mean, Rob, you never watched any Keenan and Kel shit on Nickelodeon? Like, I mean, I watched, I, was, I watched all that in Keenan and Kel, but I never seen Good Burger. I just know that it was a line like, "Hey, welcome to Good Burger. Can I take your order?" I just know that's a line. I didn't. Who likes one soda? <laughs> or is it- so yeah, no. wait, so the Keenan and Kel show came after Good Burger? No, nah, before. Uh, no, nah, it was all that first. All that came out, then it got the spinoff of Keenan and Kel, and then uh, you know, Good Burger. I think well, maybe Good Burger might have been. I think Good, Good Burger came out probably around the same time as the show, like or like at least a little after, after the show a little bit, like because remember, them nigga, Good Burger was like the peak. Because I like remember the you had, like see, immature. I like the Keenan. I like the Keenan and Kel show, but I never understood the orange soda shit. Like I didn't know like why the fuck is this some goofy shit. shit. It was goofy. He liked ham and, and orange soda. Not even the best soda, nigga. The purple fucking grape soda is the best fucking soda. No nigga. orange is. I haven't had, I haven't had a no. soda in nah, a while. Nah, the grape, so nah, orange, depends. like nah. drink orange juice. Then it I'm talking the grape juice like medicine. I'm saying it's the, the fruit punch. The, the red one was the best. Wait, uh, wait, what, what, I don't drink pop nigga. I don't drink pop no more. But when I did, it was Sprite, nigga. Oh my god! You get get out get out here with this pop. It's soda, soda, <laughs> it's soda pop, nigga, soda pop. It's pop not. This sounds like yeah. It's hey, nigga, you want this body. pop? Like nigga, nah. soda pop is what it's called, nigga. That's the whole name. No, no nigga, it's it's soda. Soda. like nah, it's soda. It's called a it's can called of pop, soda. nigga. Like what the fuck? <laughs> can of pop. That, sound, that shit sounds zesty as fuck, like. Hey, pilot, come through, man. You want to knock back some pops? Like, <laughs> nigga, oh, excuse nigga, me. Nigga, nigga, I ain't niggas don't say that, that, nigga. They no be like, yo, you want to, you want to, you want to pop, you want a Seven Up pop, or you want a strawberry pop? Like, nigga, let me get the strawberry pop, nigga. Nah, cause I, if I say strawberry pop, I'm thinking some ginger bitch gonna start twerking or some shit, nigga. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Cutting out. <laughs> you niggas are stupid, yo. I thought y'all say pop in New York too. Y'all say soda, or y'all say can? No, we say, say soda. Y'all say, oh, let me get a soda, b. Like that's just how yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, yo, I forgot, yo. Do the Twitter poll uh, real quick before we before they should uh, wrap. Yeah, yeah, what's what? What's better, pop or soda? <laughs> nah, it's, we gonna have to start getting more food Twitter polls this month because it's November and I know a lot of you niggas gonna be eating a lot. Oh yeah, we gotta do the t- with the turkey and ham poll because we turkey turkey almost done with the cartoon, man. The, the the pizza awards is coming soon, bro. Like we, we still trying to hold out for a certain guest voice, but um, if it doesn't yeah. happen, we still gonna make it happen. You know what I mean, and tur- turkey over ham because turkey ain't pork, nigga. I don't, I don't fuck with ham, but I like bacon. Of course you so, do. I, mean, I like turkey and ham. It, it, like ham at its best level is like equal to turkey, but nigga, I was just talking I don't to somebody know. the other day. With turkey. I was talking to somebody the other day. I was like, I don't know how the fuck you can go to a store and be like, yeah, let me get a ham sandwich. Like that's cold pig. Like why the fuck would you put that shit on a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> nah, if you, if you like to make an ultimate sub at Publix. I think it's ham, That's turkey, terrible. roast beef. With no ham. I'll say no ham. Nah. Ham is good if it's with other shit, but by itself, it's like, 
You only gonna make a ham sandwich if you're at home. No one makes it. No one goes yeah. to a restaurant for a fucking. I'd ham rather sandwich. have a canned spam sandwich than a ham sandwich, nigga. Ugh. Nah, I ain't eating no. Nigga, ain't what, no nigga you never Hawaiian. had a what hot. Fuck? You never had a hot spam sandwich. Ugh. I've had spam before, but like, nigga, that's like struggle you, eating. No, that's good eating, nigga. You take a can of spam, bust that shit open, throw it in a skillet, cook that shit on hot. Throw some shred, uh, shredded cheese on that bitch. Throw it on a, a nice little toasted bun, nigga. Ooh. Man, that's too much sodium. You are gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, nah. Right? Uh, light, light, light spam, light spam, light spam. Forty percent less sodium, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> like, God damn. Yeah, yeah you, you, you have to excuse her. Yeah, Rome be eating that pork, and yes, Rob D. No pork. Ain't pork, pork, pork. It just the thing is, everybody always. I, be like, so pretentious every, with pork, like yeah. Like, niggas, no one cares everybody wants to be pork. Everybody wants to be Muslim, like nigga, stop. Good. No, like nigga, if, nigga. if you if you're Muslim, and you don't eat pork, cool. Cause and it's funny, cause the Muslim niggas be the only one who don't ever talk shit about not eating pork. Like I never pro- prolific never gives me shit about fucking pork. Yeah, it'll be this the, motherfucker. It'll, it'll be the niggas that I eat a ribeye and a fucking all other types of shit. But they gonna be like, yeah, nigga, hey, put the bacon down, bro. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> niggas who used to eat pork and no longer eat it no more. Motherfucker, no, you could never speak on me because like, you oh, ate it before. Be like, oh, do you know how they made that? Do you know where that comes from? Nigga, I don't give yeah, a fuck. You know, virgin, nigga, you didn't you didn't had the pig all in you, nigga. Uh, pause. Pause. Yeah, nigga. Like, uh, I'm sorry. To, I'm gonna keep like uh, I, I have to keep working with, uh, working on these niggas, man. Like you know, one day they'll see the light, yo. You know, those see the light. Like, like, you you, you stop eating the damn pig. When the ring gang barbecue pop off, then hey, nigga, yeah, you can't get what's on the grill. Yeah, yeah that's just more for me, Rome, King P, whoever else eat pork. Had, you never had a smothered pork chop, nigga. Damn. He never had no Shutterworth jerk ribs, nigga. That's what he... He ain't have no nigga kebabs. He ain't had them nigga bobs. And he ain't up on them nigga kebabs, yo. Like... Well, I, 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 if anything with pork, I'll, you, y'all can keep that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, eating pork damages the brain. Like, just, re- just remember that, you know. You I know, know he said no no bacon, turkey bacon, cool, though. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No turkey pork, bacon is the shit. Pepperoni. Yeah. Nah, nah, nigga, you a backslider. If it's, yeah, no, no. It's, if it's no pork, it's no pork. You can't say, well, a little pepperoni don't no. hurt. Unless nah, it, unless it, unless, <laughs> unless it's, it can't be that. <laughs> nah, no. <laughs> yeah, unless it's beef pepperoni or turkey pepperoni, which it both exist. I know this. Nigga, they got beef pepperoni? That's just probably disgusting. Yes, yes. Remember that one place, the gyro Indian place I was telling you about with the, where the fries were like elite and y'all niggas is like, who cares if the fries are good or whatever? They got like a gyro lamb pizza and they got like beef pepperoni, lamb, and beef kebab, all of Nigga, that pizza. sounds fire as fuck though. That's, that's I haven't tried it yet, but I do want to try that shit. That shit yeah. sounds like give me a heart attack, nigga. <laughs> but I, but, nigga, I could do it. I might have to be on my King P shit and be like, opinionated Floridian tries Indian pizza. Yeah, I, I still need to go to Raisin Kings. I just haven't been in the area to actually go there. I still want to try that shit. You know, it's like, Raisin. yeah, like, no, wait, like, we, 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 what's good, man? Maybe y'all niggas will go viral, eat stuff in y'all face and shit. <laughs> I mean, like, like, say, oh, 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 he said beef, pe- beef pepperoni correction. Oh, oh, okay, no, I think you said you was right the first time. I like, thought we ain't gonna call that shit out. Hold on, well, I guess. Know- I Yo, see a somebody, lot of friends in high school whose families come from Britain and other parts of Europe. They don't really eat turkey for Thanksgiving. They eat ham. Try. Yeah, and, I mean, ham, ham is... eat, in Britain, they eat beans on toast. Like, like they, they really struggle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ham ain't bad. Like, they got this place called Honey Cooked Ham down here. That when it comes down for Thanksgiving, dude, it be looking like they giving out iPhones the way people be lined up around the building for honey baked ham, <laughs> and it's good. just good as fuck though. I ain't gonna lie, but nigga, nobody nigga, eat like ham like that. Nigga. <laughs> one, they one only thing. do it at one. This it only happens for Christmas and Thanksgiving. You don't see this place get no customers the whole year. Like it's like regular shit. It? Like it's like who Arby's who until is? until November December. Yo, who the fuck gonna cook a ham in July, nigga? Niggas cook briskets in July. Niggas cook pot in is, July. Who the fuck is cooking a brisket in July, nigga? July's peak summer. Niggas down here cook. Nigga, just because I'm we ain't doing it. No, 
I'm not talking about no smoked brisket. I'm talking about brisket in your oven broiled for seven hours, hot ass oven and shit. Nigga, nobody. Nigga, you don't take shit. seven hours for no brisket in no oven. Nigga, if you want that shit falling off, nigga, yeah, you do. To say kind of low cook, nigga. If you yeah, like five cook. hours, nigga. Low okay, temp, if you're putting it in a crock pot, <laughs> low to yeah, low temp, slow cook, nigga. That's how you make it good. Fall. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> but I just never did no seven hours. That, that's crock pot shit. Like in the oven, seven hours, nigga. That's a long ass time. Word. The crock pot, at least, it'll have the juices, and you can put your herbs and vegetables, and and you could you could place them around the. Uh, Wait, hold the on, meat real quick, balls. real quick. We gotta do another poll. Is it herbs or is it herbs? Like, which one is it, nigga? It herbs. herbs. Her, her, oh, it's herbs or herbs? It's, it's herbs. Oh. It's what? Herbs. It's herbs. It's herbs. The H is silent. Okay, okay. I, was, I thought I was wrong. Okay. Yeah, sure. herbs, nah, but it's herb. Herb is when you disrespect a nigga, though. Yeah, you like you, you disrespect the stupid nigga. Herbs is what you put on so, and your, and your damn yeah. food. Yeah. Her, herbs <laughs> is the damn the, the seasoning. Herbs is like. Yeah, Kane's here. Yeah, Shouts out to Anthony. Kane's kind of dry, bro. I've only been to the one. You know what I'm saying? Since I've been, I've only been to one location, but it, it's dry and, and crinkle fries is trash, though. Yeah. Damn, motherfucker, you went to like three different places. <laughs> you like, I tried it in Vegas, Georgia, and Texas. <laughs> it's like, right, yeah, it's, it's confirmed. Right. It's trash. It's right, yeah, it's I right. mean, Razor Kings, because it's not, because it, it's never it's been in the Northeast until now. But that's what six. It doesn't have a menu. It only got one option, nigga: chicken nuggets or loot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still want to try that shit though. Like, hmm, I'll try leave. Bro, I can't, I can't, I, I'll never go to a restaurant where the only thing I can order is a chicken strip. Nigga, get the fuck out of here, yo. Yeah, these would have to be some fire chicken strips. No. And no. I never heard anybody say they're fire. Nah, they ain't that good. They give, they give I can get chicken strips from Publix that are good. That fake ass. What is, what? Yo, pilot, what is that sauce they give you, nigga? Pause. Is it honey mustard? What is it? They, they give you some. I mean, there's different sauces. I feel like there's that fake Paul. You know how Chick Fil A got that Polynesian sauce? They got their own little version of that. You know what I'm saying? That Chick Fil A sauce available. be good as fuck. That's the best thing about um, what's gonna call it? Uh, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A sauces. Yeah, that's like, them niggas want to be shit about them sauces. Like I swear, I could do everything that they do at home. Like. <laughs> Salty yeah, ass food. But yeah, yeah, what's the Twitter poll we did today? I'm sorry, like um Yeah, the, the Twitter poll is how satisfied are you with the current box of media? That one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for that one, so basically we have four choices for <laughs> thumbs up, we have twenty three point seven round off to twenty four percent, thumbs down twenty six point three, twenty six percent, thumb in the middle, forty two percent. And they hate boxing, seven point nine percent or eight percent, rounded off. So, uh, thumb in the, so people are thumb in the middle about it. So I put a thumbs in the middle because I mean we're boxing media, it, you know. I can give us a thumbs down. So thumbs I mean we, down. you know, I mean uh, so, I listen to certain, 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 you know, certain. I did thumbs down actually. I did thumbs in the middle because you know we're not a thumbs down. So I can't put that. I can't say a thumbs down. Completely. Nigga, we yeah, are, we're, we're, we're bigger than boxing <laughs> media. Like we that shit. We we them niggas. Fair. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I but I, I do I put thumbs up too because I feel like you know there's very few people like you know like, like that right on it actually like, seem like I mean Jake is the perfect example of someone who actually likes what he watches and he writes it and he yeah 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 definitely. you know and he's and, and it's he's, well informed and objective it's too much hate media in boxing like too many narratives too many narratives in the racist Twitter boxing is ridiculous I hate seeing it but I can't avoid it. Yeah, and you know. then just like, and just like the other day too, like even some of the more established media people, like they, like they they be stealing or we or they be you know yeah stealing or stealing like whoever's the first one like like for the morale the morale fight stealing. right you talking about the the morale a uh, Benko fight uh yeah yeah that one mm-hmm. where you know the box wreck dude like he was the one who broke it in you know and then Keith. Keith Edick was like, oh no, no, that's not true, that's not true. And then this motherfucker literally reports that shit. I'm like, we just heard this shit from the box fight, dude. That yeah, he and then me. not and then not only then not only did he say no, that's not true, and then come back and confirm it, he didn't even credit Box Rec Gray for it. It's like, well, some other source told me. Like, no, you got it from Box Rec Gray first. He was the one that said it. Like you, yeah. you, you could have credited oh, him for it. Fuck yeah. nigga. 
Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. All media, that media, media is really. Yeah, media, like pretty much a lot of media today that's like established. Like they're just probably coasting off what they did before, and you know yeah. when, yeah. You know, now, but yeah, box media is like, you know, it feels it, like they're out of place right now. Yeah, some some of them so just don't know how to connect, or some of them are just too set in their ways. Like it's disconnected from the sport. Like I feel like they're they're spinning narratives and words, and they're talking about a sport that they have no allegiance to. Like. Mm-hmm. They'll say boxing's dying and try to compare it to UFC and be like totally wrong. They don't try to put no statistics, no numbers behind it. It's just constant like agenda spinning and narratives. It just it gets exhausting, like like Pilot said. And then the racism that that's behind it. But a lot of them, a lot of shit that they ignore for certain fighters. It's just I I, I feel like at the end of the day, I think it, it's going to come down to the boxers really recognizing, like, who's worthy of, like, fucking with in the media space. Mm-hmm. And then, and the guys like Jake and Lukey, who, who are solid dudes who are always reporting on the sport and, and try not to, and try to be positive about it. Like, I feel they'll be elevated when it's only those, when when they're at the forefront and not everybody else who has an agenda and, and want to hate boxing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's like all this damn, cause yeah, I, I why, get to the why point. Is it, what is it? Why is it so popular to hate boxing right now? Cause you get a different type. Cause you get engagement off of hate. Just like how you can say, oh, Wale sucks. And Wale, I answer you. Or oh, Rihanna, when you gonna drop an album? And she'll be like, yo, fuck you, nigga. I'm doing perfume. Like Fanny, bitch. Like, that shit, but if you was to say, oh, wow, Wale is a top 50 MC, like, yeah, King P and Pilot might retweet it and, and say, yeah, nigga, you, you smart or something. Like, but, but, but no, no real nigga is going to care. But, but, and, and on that Wale same ain't going to care. But on that same token, some of these Nick, some people do care. Like, we have to watch, we have to, we're in the air of what we have to watch to say, or we, you know, we can't get the interview, or, you know what I'm saying? Certain, certain. Yeah. And, and, and that's the thing. It's like, but it's usually the people who do care, like, and really be objective and, and really trying to damn bridge the gap with the sport. They're the ones who don't get the access like that, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like, what do you do? Do you keep trying to, like, kiss up to motherfuckers who don't even recognize you? Or you just play the game for what it is and just tell your story and be objective and whoever fuck with you, fuck with you. I mean, that's what we're doing, basically. Right. Because, <laughs> because shit, we didn't try to interview a lot of motherfuckers, and and you know we get ignored and shit. Like we roll out the red carpet for motherfuckers, draw pictures, artwork, all of that shit, hype niggas up. Like mm-hmm. it is what it is. The game is the game. But I'm just like, if you don't fuck with us, at least fuck with niggas as as good as us that care about the sport as much as we do. That's all I'm saying. Like, right. You know, if if you don't fuck with Ring Gang, at least fuck with some niggas as on that that's that's fucking that that means something to the sport like because i'll never be on some oh, fuck them niggas because they ain't fucking with us that's not me like i'm for the sport but at the same time like there's other options out there besides ring game <laughs> so yeah if you you know at least at least keep some integrity with this shit but mm-hmm. it's it, boxing the old boxing media i do feel like it's slowly getting pushed out like the retweets the anger hate engagement ain't popping like it used to mm-hmm. and i think in another year or so like niggas won't be like ring pound for pound list what who cares mm-hmm. niggas is only gonna be checking for those damn uh best to ever face uh, uh <laughs> articles right and, and the schedule and shit like a certain news shit but yeah like but other than that like yeah uh I definitely want to say it's nothing but YouTubers. Like some of the YouTubers care about this sport harder than motherfucking the, yeah. the established boxing media. So I'm starting to get offended by that. Like, mm-hmm. like y'all stop saying YouTubers. If, if these YouTubers are at fights and giving better takes than some of you niggas that's legit went to um, um, journalism school and got your fancy fucking degrees and shit. Right. So well, what's the point if you have all that and then it's like you're gonna damn pen a Oh, boxing ain't shit. Article, two thousand one. Boxing ain't shit. Article, twenty thirteen. 
Boxing ain't shit, 2017. Like, it's the same shit. Are you flexing your fucking degree? Like, we care. Nigga, suck my dick, nigga. <laughs> like, I'm sick of this shit. Like, if y'all don't like boxing so much, go fucking play golf. Nigga, play tennis, you fucking pansy. Facts. <laughs> like, God damn. Like, niggas make me sick. But yeah, like, I ain't really got much to say on that. It's just, um. Deal. The, the Twitter poll to just kind of reflect because I and people sometimes I see what's on the on the the, the, the Twitter feed and that kind of inspired the Twitter poll and I right. see like a lot of niggas just kind of getting that boxing media today <laughs> as I was like alright let me see do y'all really fuck with them question would you guys op- opinion on the boxing scene in World Week Radio run by Joseph Heron well I feel like the boxing scene has a little bit of um PBC, but I mean, all these different pu- publications have different, I don't know, I don't say payola, but they report things in different verbiage in different ways. I don't know. Yeah, that's payola, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, it seems like it's payola. I don't know, but I can't, we can't confirm. I can't confirm. I mean, but boxing seems pretty good. Like, they're like a general. General, yeah, more, study, more so yeah. general. More so general, yeah. I mean, I guess certain people are going to have a certain leanings or slights. But long as nothing gets too blatant, I'm cool with it. Cause everybody's human. Niggas gonna have opinions and little biases. My whole thing is that I just wish niggas would just be upfront with bias. Like, you know, if it's a Florida nigga boxing and I'ma pick the Florida nigga, I'ma say like, hey, look, you know, I don't really pick against Florida nigga. Like, I'm like Rico and paid in full. Like, you know, I ain't, ain't gonna snitch mm-hmm. on no Harlem niggas, but um. Uh, yeah, them niggas down the street in Baltimore. Yeah, look at them niggas right there, son. Like it's them niggas you need to fuck with. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but a lot of them we cool down here, nigga. You ain't gonna snitch on a lot of them niggas, man. No Broward niggas, no Florida <laughs> niggas, nah. Uh, nah you yeah, them stupid. Atlanta niggas though. <laughs> so that's that's what I'm on, man. Like, but yeah, we can start wrapping this shit up. Um, and like, there's no boxing this week, right? Like. Nah, bro. Nothing major. Dog, like, yeah. And I see your, I, I see your comment now, Anthony. Yes, I did see that Vince, uh, sold his, uh, his stock in WWE. That Endeavor basically put him on the. He's too much of a risk, and <laughs> they pulled the, they, they, they pulled a fast one with him. I ain't mad at it. So, let's say he can go into retirement again for the second time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know, yeah. Let's start uh, wrapping this up because I, I'm, I, I need to see if fucking the power, power finale is out yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that power uh, force. Yeah. Oh, Invincible back. That Invincible been uh, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely too. Yeah, that too. Uh, well, one of the one of the others gonna get washed tonight for sure. For sure. Yeah, uh, well, I guess whatever's up. Pause. Like, man, it's like yeah, yeah. yeah I fuck with that. Wait, the second episode out or just the first one? I watched the first one. I mean, I don't know if they're saying I haven't looked for anything yet, but when we get off the cast, it's like, I got the yeah, cute, I got the cute, got the pewters puking in it. You set? Actually, let me let me take a look at Prime right now to see if Invincible. Yeah, let me let me take a look and see right now. I know that the the power finale is out. We're gonna have a review on Monday. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes, ah, oh, come on, y'all ain't, oh, y'all ain't posted up yet, really? Oh, oh, yeah. rap shit. Hold on, y'all got two episodes. Oh, yeah, of rap yeah, shit yeah. There's two, there's two episodes of rap shit. If y'all watch the rap shit, you know. You... All right, okay, okay. Some thick mid broads, like struggle bars. All right, that's up my alley. <laughs> struggle bars. Oh, good. Yes, ep- episode two is out, so I am going to. I, 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 I like, I like the car. I like the carpet muncher. She cool. She's yeah, she's fine. She's cute. Honestly, bitches ain't fine, yo. They just honestly fine. No, she's cute. She's they cute. like mid, like they they fives and sixes done up. Like it's cool. Everybody can't be dimes. And, and there's nothing fine. wrong with it. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with a six. Six. I, look, I, I mean, they, I, I mean, I look at it like that. They smashable. Like they smashable. That's, that's what they do. Yeah. They ain't fucking right, so, the broads from power. do some force though. <laughs> I mean, like I said, the Shauna chick, the Shauna chick, don't ain't looking at us. She a she a carpet muncher. So, who y'all think going down for? Nah, her sex scenes. Nah, dog. 
She done had some dick before. Like you can't who, fool who, me with some damn who, sexy. Who's dying on who's dying on power? The uh the, the, the snitch and Tommy found just found out? Or the sister? Or both of them? I want I want, I want I want I want who killed Leon to die. Oh yo, yeah, oh, that guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. That oh but hold on, ain't he a maid nigga? Ain't he connected? He ain't gonna get touched. Pause. Uh, fuck all that. Like he needs to I hope he does. Everybody could get touched. Yeah. Pause. Anybody can get it. <laughs> but I'm the can man. But yo, let me let's get because I want to start watching. I want to start watching some of this shit. So, uh, Rome, your your final thoughts? Um, final thoughts. I'm tired of the sexy red slander. Nigga, no one's talking about no damn sexy nah, red. Nigga, nah, <laughs> you oh, because I, I just saw the pregnant twerking. I'm good. I just saw it twerking. Nah, nasty. Nah, nah. I'm sorry. That was nasty. Oh, all right. What? What Clarissa Shields said about sexy red? I do not. I do not fuck with that. Like, shut the fuck up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> the way this nigga said it. You wouldn't say that to her face, though. What's she gonna do? Swing on me? I'll call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, if you don't use your goddamn boxing skills, nigga, you'll call the police or Carissa Shields, nigga? Yeah, because if I whoop her ass, what is gonna happen, nigga? I'm gonna go to jail. So, I mean, nah, we're gonna wanna damn put misfits and get involved and, and put y'all on a card, nigga. That's what we gonna wanna do. No, like, <laughs> I'm gonna make some bread, nigga. All right, we got a football player, uh, mm-hmm. slash, uh, pickup if game hooper. If anything, we could train up Sexy Red to have her ready to go for the fucking fight when she get up and nah, her baby drops. She should beat the shit out of Sexy Red. We, I need to see Clarissa Shields start fighting hood niggas. Hood got hands, now, so. nigga. Hood hoes got hands. Hood <laughs> What you think Clarissa Shields is, nigga? She's from Flint. Yeah, she's from Flint. She's, <laughs> no, no, she's certified, nigga. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, have you seen her Olympic fights? Yo, she was fighting through some pain and anger, nigga. Like, like nah, <laughs> man. Like, that, no regular hood rat is going to beat Clarissa Shields. You got to be a hood rat on some out for justice type shit. You got to be a, the Tarver of hood rats. You got, it's like, you got to be set on... It's like you got to be the chosen one to beat her right now. What, what was that one girl that King Pete was hyping up? Oh, the Sedacia Green. Yeah, like you she want the smoke. She, she want the title fight instead. I didn't, so I didn't hype her up. She cool. Yeah, we didn't hype. Yeah, he didn't hype her up. <laughs> no, I mean saying that she was supposed to be knocking bitches out, and then she went the distance. Oh, that. oh, that one fight, yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie, she look, she looked trash. Cause I, I watched that fight. I'm like, hmm, let me see. She looked diesel. She looked like she about to put her hands down. I'm like, yo, she going life or death. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she fight too lazy for them, Chris and Shields. But uh, the Francis Dejern fight, the Francis Cruz Dejern fight, is a good fight. That might say that's fifty fifty. December fifteenth, Orlando. Mm-hmm. Hey, is King P gonna be down here for this one? No, not that one. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah me, me and Pat are gonna be in, 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 in Arizona. Yeah, hopefully. Oh yeah, yeah. Pat. Y'all yeah, with another spin off. Just for that form, so it was like, geez, like I would have thought we've gotten the emails by now, so, so we can actually sign up for this shit. Damn, me and Ron gonna have to go to one of these cars one day. But damn, maybe damn these fucking Orlando, Orlando. What the fuck is in Orlando? God damn it. Boxing, nigga. Yeah, go. No. <laughs> These niggas got theme parks and so much shit to do. Like, nigga, put that shit down here. Like, what the fuck? Like, it, it would. It doesn't make sense to not have fights in Miami, Florida. Like, it doesn't make sense. And do anywhere from fucking Boca down. It just doesn't like, make the, sense. To the have only fights. nigga that the only nigga that can get a fight down here is Floyd. Like, it's crazy. And then when they do, it's like Floyd and Broner have fights that no one cares must, about. So it's it, like, it, it, there must be a contract that the the city, the state of Florida has for boxing or some shit because it's it's a reason that there's not that many fights in Florida like that. Yeah, it's but weird. The thing is, like they're, they're actually in Florida. I would kill to have the many fights. Like Connecticut doesn't get no goddamn fights. Massachusetts doesn't get any goddamn fights. You guys have fights, but you just don't want to travel to go to them in your state nigga because everybody traveling situation ain't the same like nigga i'm not trying to then book a hotel in, in for in the middle of the month for fucking orlando for a whole week when it's like niggas could damn when you got arenas and shit down here and niggas could have fights at and all i gotta do is just drive 15 minutes to do pressers and shit like 
that that's my whole thing like like y'all are a flood in one area when y'all could space out the events if y'all gonna like y'all y'all having three events in orlando when have they ever had three events in in, in a lot of their hollywood broward day type shit like that back to back <laughs> back to back back to back because because they're trying they're, they're making a point that they want to make that uh a regular place a regular place for for putting on fights what the fuck it's you always at the same place the Caribbean Orlando. Orlando. and then you got trash ass security like nigga make it make sense like the zone be just doing this weirdest shit sometimes like makeshift arenas and y'all fighting y'all having boxing and tourist traps or uh, not trap but tourist areas I don't, I don't think it's the zone. It's Maximum that's actually doing that. The zone doesn't have any of saying where that shit is going. The zone's showing that shit, man. So, <laughs> Maximum. I thought this was damn uh, MVP anyway, ain't it? Yeah, it's every. I mean, it's gonna be Aaron on the zone, but it's MVP. It's Jake Paul shit. Yeah, it? I wouldn't be surprised. They got some bad deal or some shit like. Y'all niggas pick Orlando, like yeah, yeah. They clearly have something. They, yeah, they clearly got something going on there. Because why are all the all the Maximum cards in Orlando and shit? Yeah. yeah. Like, damn, like, on PBC with Minnesota and how they had Brooklyn and shit, you know, all that. You know. I mean, there was a PBC card in, the, in in this nigga's area. He just didn't go. <laughs> but I think it was probably during that you know the time, like the 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 one where Bruno was supposed to be on. Yeah, the one. Oh, Bruno the Broner was. shit, bro. Come on, bro. Y'all 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 can't penalize me for not getting to a Broner card. When all the fuckery last. No, I'm talking about the one that's the PBC Brona card that he was supposed to be, yeah. but he dropped wow. out. Yeah, I'm. I'm saying though, like that's what I'm saying. Like, what? no one was trying to pay those tickets or even go on some regular shit when you know Brona not gonna. Uh, Brona is like fifty fifty with even showing up. Look, when they trying to yeah. damn pay opponents on Facebook, they looking for opponents on fucking Facebook. No, that was yeah. after. That was after. Though. That was after. Right. That was after that. But still, it was, but see, it was too much fuckery around his name to even like, even get yourself involved in that fight. Yeah, and, but then because it didn't look good on TV having all those empty seats, that's part of the reason why PBC is well, not 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 taking another chance on there anytime soon. Nah, but that's their fault. They look, dude. They priced the tickets higher because of Broner, and then when Broner leaves and not on the card, they still kept the tickets the same. It don't work like that. Mm. And then they don't do no local promotion down here either. Oh shit! Oh, okay, guys. For- Force is, I think, starting to be available. So I'm gonna need y'all to. Oh so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Any, what's y'all closing thoughts? Whatever y'all got. Yeah, so was the was where he went off in a rant about fucking sexy reds. Nigga, don't stop bringing that stupid bitch. Uh, up. Yeah, I, I, I actually saw her. Yeah, I didn't see the sexy. I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> I, I ain't got nothing to say. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Yeah. yeah. LB, yeah, do you have any final thoughts, LB? Nah, man, y'all just uh, we gonna have some fl- uh, some fly shit on the way. Uh, ca- ca- Pizza Wars cartoon on the way, and some fly shit. Um, more more boxing content on the way, <clears throat> and different topics, shows, all that shit. Just fuck with us. Make sure you holler at us on uh, TikTok, uh, IG, Facebook. Make sure you fucking uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. All of that shit. More articles on the way. All of that shit, music, everything's coming soon. Um, still got that Rome album that need to drop. I don't know when the fuck that's dropping, but it need to drop. Shit came up on my playlist at the gym today. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's it. You know what to say, you um, It's yeah, good, good fucking with y'all. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody on Podomatic, Anchor, the rest of the crew, DZ, Prolific Genius, uh, Clan Arky, PJ, Fight Architect. You know what it is, my nigga. Ring gang forever. Yeah, ever, you know, ever. And like I said, you know, we have that web page, we have the YouTube, man. So yeah, keep you know, keep support on YouTube, spread that shit around, make sure your friends hear that shit, because it's the shit that they want and need in their lives, and we can all be friends, you know what I'm saying? And you see this scrolling banner with our PayPal on there if you wanna contribute to the claw uh, to the cause, man. We of course we would always appreciate that. But yeah, so to everyone that li- 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 that was listening to us rant about many different things tonight. Especially how, especially how how sucky the bears are. You know, I have to make sure I emphasize that before I get up out of here. You know, so yeah, for myself, Pat Scorpio, the only representer for LB, so we've got the Go Artist for King P. Bodega P. For Conscious Pilot and for Rome Top Five. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, shit's real. We talk about it.
So until next time, peace. Fuck the bears too. Eagles trash. <laughs>